Welcome everyone to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles mm -hmm. at 60 frames a second. So make, make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second. And it is a Monday. Weird. Very weird. It's a holiday in Canada. Yes. <laughs> um, and uh, it just kind of synced up with uh, John Champeau sending me over two new builds of his games. Mm. Galagon. Slash Galaga. Um, <laughs> and Wizard of War. Excellent. Um, and also the fact that you haven't played Boulder Dash. No, no. And we also want to get through the first four levels so that we mm. can make it to the first checkpoint on Boulder Dash. Okay. Um, because every fifth level, I think it's every fifth level, mm. is a level you can start on. So if you make it to that level, you can just start from there rather than going back to one. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can get through those. It's kind of an action puzzle game. Kind of as you get further and further, more puzzly yeah. than action-y. Because you have to do the right things at the right times yeah, I, in the right order. I noticed. I did watch a bit of you and Erlen playing. And then we yeah. were watching a YouTube showing the evolution of the game over different systems or, or the different yeah. versions of it. Yeah, so yeah, I could yeah. kind of got that. Yeah. But uh, hello, 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 Mr. Everyone. Fix. Hi, everyone. It is um, uh, late. Yes. Later than normal. <laughs> At the latest, not, we usually start as... Not late for the West Coast. But, oh, no, no, but no. It's fine Pretty much here. late for anyone else across everyone the country. Everyone else. It's terrible in Europe. Yeah. It's inconvenient on the East yes, Coast. Yes, that's right. <laughs> it's fine on the West it Coast. It is. <laughs> um, but that's okay. A lot of our viewers um, watch on youtube yes so if they can't catch it now yeah they can catch it later yes. and for those of you that saw my message that we're broadcasting yeah um today welcome um welcome to katarin and twitch mr fix ice bosta arena foot rc70 uh luri fedorak uh there's some other people here mcmuse ice bosta rc70 mcmuse i said that already mm -hmm. and ground trooper and ground trooper some of them said oh i'll be i'll be in and out or i'll That's be here for enough. a little bit <laughs> and, until they go uh, to bed <laughs> yes and what it is somebody said rc70 just said i'm just now realizing how crazy late yeah, it is it must be so late there then. you might be on the east coast oh geez and uh, Atari has joined us today, and yeah. I am wearing a very crazy Atari T-shirt. Yes, I've never I don't think you've worn it. I've never worn it on the show because it's really crazy. Um, I, I like to call it his clubbing shirt. <laughs> yeah, so you can see it is a full, full, full Atari shirt from head to toe. It's hard to get it in frame. Mm. Um, it's very, very big. Um, I think I've worn it once before. Oh, it always Atari reminds event. me of like a women's... Um, halter top a little bit here with the <laughs> red with the red piece now you've there. got that image in everyone's mind <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, i want to thank all the subscribers as well of which it is a growing number it's wonderful everybody is uh yeah. really supporting the show yeah um charles and check gredham's ground trooper johnny wc23 mr fix muddy funster nathan strum rc70 repentless vg retro happy hour scum software sir cat legs Spastastic. I've been saying that wrong. Spastastic. Um, Spartan 581, Spiceware, Esther Mirrors 2008, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. And soon it'll get out of control and I won't be able to read them because there'd be too many names. That's awesome. I'll have to figure That's, something else that, out. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for now, I can still read the list. Yeah. Subscriber list is overlapping on the Atari cam. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's, it's getting longer and longer. It's getting too long. <laughs> it's getting. Yeah. But it's okay. It's, there's nothing it's there fine. but some wires. So. Yeah. Until the, come, you know. Until the cats come. Until the cats come, and even then it's okay. Yeah. We'll go right down the screen. Yeah. Um, and you can support the show, too, and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and click subscribe. Um, so I've been talking with John Champo a little bit because he's passed over these um, awesome. two games. Yeah. Uh, two updates, massive updates. <laughs> um, and he told me that i mean he posted it recently on the um, 50th anniversary of the moon landing his update to a game that he was working on called lunar lander which is an atari arcade game mm -hmm. and it was put on uh one of those retro console things with the built-in games um and he was doing an update to it to make it not as uh 
flashing on the screen and, and improving it a bit. Mm -hmm. And um, so he has revisited it lately because he posted some screenshots from it. And he was looking at it and he played it the other day and he went, oh, it's not that bad. He's, it's pretty far along. Mm. So he's going to send it over oh, to nice. us here for its world debut. Nice. Lunar Lander. Lunar Lander. Nice. I don't know if that's going to be Wednesday show or if it's going to be Friday show. We'll see when. We'll see how it fits in, but at least it'll probably be on one of those two, mm. um, those two episodes. Might need a scroll crawl of the names for future shows oh that would work that actually. would work yeah. a little distracting though well i don't know Moving. if we could do it too continuously but yeah or it can go along the bottom uh it's a it's a good option yeah it's a good option a little distracting though yeah um this so cat is a little distracting yes he's, he's just very like cute. so roly poly the cats have melted pretty much oh my recently. gosh it's pretty warm here like like yeah. not warm compared not, to southern yeah. u.s but it's warm for here warm for here lots of fans mid to mid 20s yeah. maybe a little bit yeah, above mid 20s which is nothing for everyone else out there but who's you know, dying no, in 40 degree weather yeah exactly but we don't yeah. have air conditioning so it gets no nobody's rather, air conditioning rather warm indoors so mm -hmm. the cats have been feeling it so but I'm surprised yeah. he jumped up between us because this is this this is kind of a warm spot. So his love is overriding uh, his, his heat. His heat, yeah, yeah. his heat regulation. <laughs> and cats um, regulate their heat through their their feet, amongst other things. Well, yeah, so they trap air in their fur too, which that is too. how they regulate. But their if you heat. feel their paws, they they're like warm paws. They do it's get that, really warm. It's not that hot right now. No. Um, Sorry. So not much, uh, <laughs> not much news. Um, was I gonna say oh not too much uh, yeah not much feedback because mm -hmm. um, it's been a weekend um, so we're just gonna get right into the games mm -hmm. um, we're gonna be playing Galagon first um, this is an update that you can kind of play out there because he released the demo mm -hmm. an updated demo released a demo a while ago and this one's a new demo to show off you know the updates have been happening um, the demo is demo number two. You can download it in the Atari Age forums. It was released two days ago, and that's when he passed me the update as well with, with the full version, because we're going to be playing the full version here, not the demo. Mm. Um, the demo um, is released in NTSC and PAL 60. Um, the game is fully functional with the following changes, but there is no save key support, mm. so people can't save their high scores. Just then the demo. Um, and it only goes to stage eight and then wraps around to stage one in the demo. Okay. So, you know, it's a limited, limited mm. amount. Um, and also the word demo is displayed on the title screen. So, you know, it's a demo, okay. which is nice. Yeah. To know if which you're version you have. It, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, which one you have. And, and especially if somebody is going to be a dirty, dirty pirate <laughs> and, uh, burn it to, um, um, a pirate ROM. Mm. Uh, pirate cart yes and people do that so it's good to put demo there to warn them off mm -hmm. and say no 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 you're not getting the full version mm -hmm. um i heard galagon now allows more rapid firing uh we will get into the changes mm. um and these are just the changes um from the version that i had last so i would have to go through older versions to see if that one mm. is one of them if that is not part of the original one um, uh, there have been numerous changes since the last demo ROMs. Thanks to all the suggestions and recommendations, we're looking to finish the game up in the next couple of weeks in preparation for the game's release at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo in mid-October. Nice. So any feedback is greatly appreciated. So everybody get out there, download the demo, mm. and type any feedback you have, any bugs, anything you're not liking about the game that you think should be changed um if you're like an expert at playing galaga mm -hmm. in the arcade um there are some concessions that are made so that it works on the atari 2600 so things aren't going to be because galaga is a very vertical game and 2600 games are horizontal so he's had to make concessions mm -hmm. for looks of things but it's a nice balance um between uh trying to do what the arcade does and playability yeah on the 26 i don't and visual i mean um, you might notice some slight play differences if you're yeah. playing them side by side but playing it on atari i i, uh, I get right into that game i i don't yeah. really feel like it's all that different so 
No, no, I no. think it's a, and, it's it's wonderful. And he, he leans. A great job. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. And he leans towards more playability than yeah. accuracy for the arcade. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because it has to be playable to mm -hmm. be fun. Mm -hmm. Just trying to make it as close to the arcade is not always going to work. Mm. Um, so let's uh, let's load that up, and we're going to be playing through the um, prototype Quadtari hardware. Um, so that we can save our high scores and play two-player mm. games at the same time. So, um, here, I'll just undo it so you guys can... Actually, I'll just show you. I have two of them, so... There you go. There's the... Oh, I'll cover your face up. There we go. There's the Quadtari... Um, half the Quadtari hardware. Um, this is what it's kind of going to look like um, when it's done. Probably going to be a little. This is just a prototype, so you can see there's uh, one in input there that goes to one of the joystick controllers, uh, one one of the joystick ports, and then there's four inputs for four joysticks. Um, so let's get that up and running. Uh, oh yeah. Go. Oh, not capturing. Uh -oh. Let's, let's restart that. Needs a little kick once in a while because it depends on what order I load things in. Mm. Uh, so let's just go down that before I switch over. Okay. So as you can see, brand new build 0803. Save key found. Quad Tari found. Excellent. Yeah, so it uh, recognized uh, both of them. So I've got the. Okay. Let me just make sure volumes are good. Let me turn mm -hmm. that a little bit. Sound going out. Everything should be good. Can you not hear everything? Check, check, check. I'm coming through. Atari is coming through, so I can see. Is it a little low, maybe? Oh, when you're standing up. Oh. Oh, maybe because you couldn't hear me. I was yeah. leaning forward. The yeah. mic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Oh, because that's on advanced. You know this? There we go. There's <laughs> all my scores. 91. Panic. That's not Panic. bad. 91, yeah. yeah. Okay, so... I'm going to let you play okay. one player for sure. now while I read off the changes and then we can get into... What do we usually play? Oh. Um, so, this is the one player. And you can... Well, we usually play standard. Okay. Woof! What's the Quadtari for? The Quadtari allows two joysticks to be plugged into port one. Um, while you have the Atari Vox plugged into port 2. Actually, the Quadtari allows four joysticks in one port. No, no. Does it? Is it doing that? No, no, no. Yeah. Two joysticks in one port. Now I'm getting really confused. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was originally so four joysticks can go into port 1 and the Atari Vox in port 2 so you can have high scores, and voices. Um, the one we're using is just a simple two-port one. Um, so you can have two joysticks going into port one. Um, and so you can have, you can have the save feature. Um, and I think, if I suspect correctly, it's for uh, John Shampoo's upcoming line of... Um, of sports games <laughs> so that you can have four players playing at once like imagine hockey ice hockey with mm -hmm. that. amazing yeah, amazing yeah. and be able to save your scores and have um announcers talking mm -hmm. at the same time saying he scores or whatever it's it's going to be unbelievable uh, okay let's see uh, i hope all is well i just posted the update is from John Champo from Champ Games. Just posted the updated demo uh, Galagon ROMs to the Atari Age forums and wanted to share the full version with you if you want to give it a test. Which we are. Died already. Oh, I killed my ship and then... then Your captured ship? 
My uh, captured ship, and then it killed me. I'm going to uh, just have to start over. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Enemy ships don't fire when they're really close to you. So, remember they were coming down really really far down? You do have to move. No, no, I, I, I'm <laughs> oh, just you dying. Wanted to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, you don't have to do anything up there. Um, remember we were kind of complaining that they were killing us when they were down really close to the bottom. They are like, they just fire. Yes. Um, and I thought, well, that's, that's not very fun because they're able to kill you. So you really had to just kind of dodge them out yes. of the way because it was too dangerous to be close to the bottom. So he has upped the, the height from which they can fire on you. RC70 says, oh, that's, that's so cool. Four player paddle games are so fun. It would be great to have four player joystick games. That's exactly right. Remember we were playing Medieval Mayhem. Oh, so good, so good. With four players. Imagine uh, the realm of video games that you can play. Mostly sports games, but it'll open up a whole new world of being able to create games with four people uh, uh, with four joysticks being able to play and sound um, and save key support so maybe even um, RPGs with four players mm -hmm. um, anything like anything with four players unbelievable okay uh, another change enemy groups are closer to the center when wrapping around so they don't end up on the far left far right of the screen on descent so you remember when like those guys mm -hmm. they were going really far right and really far left and like going off the screen and it was really hard to to shoot the guy um because he was going half off the screen um so now he has fixed that as you can see he's not going off the screen at all yeah so he's staying on the screen it's not really helping you but <laughs> well you're talking to me and i'm trying to pay attention so <laughs> no don't shoot him don't shoot him let kill that other guy and go to the next uh Next level. Oh, he ran off anyway. Yeah. Oh. He'll come back. Really? Yeah. He should. He'll appear after the, the formation comes into effect. Uh, okay, the next change. Uh, yes, like Warlords. Yeah. Um, and um, Daryl Spice Jr. made a game called Medieval Mayhem, which is uh, closer to... There he is. There yeah, he don't is. shoot that guy. So wait for him to come down again can get them. Uh, Medieval Mayhem, which is closer to the arcade version of Warlords, and it is a blast. If you want to see that, check the YouTube archive. Um, I sectioned out our game of Warlords from the 12-hour uh, marathon. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that people can just watch that, because that was really, really fun. Um, and Ross updated the ship explosion sound. I mean, we probably won't notice that but I'm sure it's closer to the arcade original now. No, no careful. No, I just need to hit him once. <laughs> uh, and you can now select the number of players on the title screen by pressing the two players button. <gasps> Thank you. Uh, same as the select switch. Oh, so you don't even have to get up from your seat to now do everything which is really <laughs> awesome. So we'll try that out after the, after your, oh, that was okay. oh. We are using a different joystick today. I hate this joystick. <laughs> I, 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 it's, uh. It's because the, um, The button's really, really hard, hard to, yeah. yeah. It's because the uh, quad tire doesn't play well with, um, getting like muscle strain <laughs> doesn't play well with the uh genesis oh i see multi button okay. controller yeah i mean i have other controllers That's but okay. i don't know if they're much better it's just uh stiff it's stiff or something it's because you have to wrap your finger around to press the button yeah, i know and like the joystick that. spins which is not a great option either. uh i renamed challenge skill level to challenge mode Oh, that's good. Not sure if it's better, but challenge seems like it missed something. So rather than <laughs> going for an alternate, uh... oh, good job. <laughs> Might actually be easier this way. The Maybe. wrapping my hand around is just painful. Yeah. Bad joystick for this game. It is a bad joystick for this game. Really good for precise control when you're like moving spot to spot. 
Uh, modified novice mode slightly. Enemy ships won't shoot on fly-in until stage four. I need to make changes for novice mode difference. I still need to make changes for novice mode differences. Enemies fire on fly-in on stage one advanced and stage two for standard for the arcade. Ooh, flying in really quick now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very close to the arcade on um, speed for flying so in. <laughs> I don't know what other better joystick there would be for this. You can use a traditional Atari joystick. I don't know if, if that's better. <laughs> uh, nope. There's only one left. Yeah, unfortunately. I think he'll come down and, and go for you. Yep. Just made it underneath. Uh, he said, that's it. If you have any other suggestions, send them along. So we will try those all out after your game. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> it's not good. Switching, I guess. Yeah, there's something awkward Looks about this. Looks painful with the original joystick. Well, we're using um, the Epix 500. You're quite fun at this this joystick, I find. For for non-firing games, this is not. This is a fire. This is a game where yeah. you fire a lot. It um, is, unfortunately, ah, right into it. Yeah. Okay. It's good that we're switching. <laughs> for now. Um, Get a high score? I uh, bet you I did. I don't think so. I don't think so. It wasn't oh, terrible. Oh, right. Wasn't great, We're on though. standard, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that might be too low for standard. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. That's fine. Okay, so player two, it says that you can press the button Ooh. on the player two joystick to switch. Ah. That is awesome. So you never actually now so need now to you, get up. Yeah, that's all. That's really good. Okay. So. Co-op or regular? So he says uh, she's changed that to challenge mode instead of just challenge. Which okay, I think is a much better name. Yeah. Oops. Are we playing challenge mode? No, I don't want to play this. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Um, so change it to two-player co-op. I'm going to go to novice. There we go. Mm -hmm. And watch when it starts up. It should say get ready player one and two. He, he was able to find, he took my suggestion, and was able to find it. Nice. It, player one and two, not get ready. Nice. Okay, so I'm on the left. Seems like the wrong side, but it's okay. Yeah. And you're on the right. And the reason, oh, am I controlling you? No. Are you? Am I pushing you left and right? No. Am I preventing you? No. I think, so. I think that just only happened. That's why I'm not using the um, Genesis, because he said there's issues with the Genesis. Um, oh, I just just sucks. <laughs> um, kind of making the other player do things they don't want to do. Mm. Remember when we were having those? Oh troubles? yeah, yeah. You were you if you, you were hey, holding. get out of here. If you were holding your button, you <laughs> would. Um, Start moving you. You moving, or if I held my button or something. I think it's still happening. Oh, I no, you just controlled me. Yeah. That's what just killed me. I held my button and you started moving me back. And that's forth. the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. If you're hitting, if you're trying to do a continuous stream, yeah, you will. No, I, I wanted to see if it, if it was still doing it, and clearly it was. So. Yes. Um. So. Uh, Oof, so close. Nathan Tolbert is working on an updated uh, version of the Quadtari, mm. which will fix that issue. Because that's the problem with it right now. Uh, I'll try and get, I'll try and get you back that's in. Okay. Yeah, it's a really, uh, really, really cool co-op mode. It's very, very good. Yeah. Um, but co they say it needs two scores at the top. But no, this is co-op no, mode. It's co -op. Not, I, I, not versus. I think we're cooperating to get a high score. Yeah. Right? It's not you. I mean, you could. Does he have shots like the shot percentages at the end? Yes. I think so, that, that that is there. So. Yeah. So that's kind of your 
your method of... Oh, come on. Oh, missed. Oh, another chance. Ah! Oh, damn it. So that's your way of evaluating who did better. Mm. Really, it's the shot percentage the, at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boss should come down soon. Yeah, but then it picks you up, and I have not been very successful oh. with hitting just the boss <laughs> and not my ship. I do uh, find, I don't know what it is, a chance. but I do find it harder in the Atari version than in the real game. Uh, RC70 is, I can't comprehend how the quad Atari works, where the player two and three input variables are going to go. Um, whoa. Well, there are a bunch of unused controls if you think about um, impossible joystick <laughs> movements on the joystick. Because right now, it's impossible to press left and right at the same time on a joystick, right? Like press. left and right at the same yes. time. You can only press left or right. Yeah. And the same goes with up or down. So there is um, two possibilities right away. Um, and then you just extend that out, um, up, up and right, and left and down at the same time. Um, I believe that's kind of how it works. There's also um, utilization of the second button. Um, like say the uh, the G Genesis second button does work on the Atari. Oh yeah, I can feel when we're. Oh, oh, that was you my pushed bad. me. I was my bad. I'm sorry. Got on my side. I know I got too far away. <laughs> um, <sighs> there's your punishment. <laughs> now it's my turn. I think. Is yes. It back to me because you died last turn. Right? Yeah. Now I have to rescue you. Again. Well, you, I have to rescue you. Oh yes, I have to get captured. Yeah. Or, yeah. Pretty much. If I can. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh you killed it's it. Really? Oh, oh, God. Looped around. Damn it. Your turn. Oh, yeah. oh don't do it. Oh, it's all dead. You should have shot it. Don't you have lives left? No, zero. Zero lives. It's for all of us? Yeah, it's, it's a co-op mod. Co-op mod. That's okay. We need to show off I the other I thought you had lives things. left. Oh, well. And now you'll be able to okay. see the two percentages <laughs> of both of us. So I'm player one. Yeah, there you 43 go. Forty-three per seven point seven percent, and then it goes to player two. Thirty-nine point nine percent. So mm -hmm. that's how you can kind of compare mm -hmm. who did better, if you wanted to do a comparison. Mm -hmm. um, but who is this? Oh, it's ever It's both of us. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yay! Yay! And you get a score. Is this a good score? That, is, but that is that a co-op score? Yeah, yeah. Is a special separate co-op score? It's co a separate, score? yeah, I think Let's so. Let's see. I think so. It's not. Oh, it's just the, oh, it's, it's just not. novice. It's hmm. not. Hmm. Actually, no, let's go back to this. Change, press the button, out of two player, just to one player. Mm hmm It is. Hmm. Interesting. So it mixes the co-op, even though yeah. that, that is actually, I find, harder. So it's fine, I think, that it puts two people as I don't one know if it's score. Harder. You have double, double the, the firepower at the beginning, but it's harder to keep both of you going. I suggest showing the difficulty switch setting. No, I'll. What? Suggest showing the difficulty switch setting? I don't know what that means. Um, so only four way games. Diagonal works in some existing games. No, like pressing up and to the right and down to the left at the same time. Um, no, all joystick positions work. Like, like I'm saying, press up and down on one joystick at the same time. It doesn't happen, yeah. It's impossible to do that. And then left and right at the same time. And then left and up at the yeah. same time as it's, down it, and to the right. It's not a pad, right? You can yeah. push both buttons on the pad, but not on the joystick. Um, D-pads, you I'd... can't do that even. It's, it's on a rocker, so you can only move. Really? Yeah. When it's four buttons? When it's four separate buttons, you probably the only could push the only both. the only one I know of that's like that is the Nintendo Switch. 
Oh, really? It actually has four, four separate buttons, buttons. And people were really upset really? about that because it's different than any other D-pad that's ever been put out. Mm. But it was made like that because they are removable and they have to do double duty mm. um, for two, like... It does two functions, so they had to make it that like that. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. And on the um, eyes, yeah. smell your beer. I know they're going. Um, but on <laughs> the what is it? The switch light? Is that what it's called? The new one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not. Uh, it's an actual real D pad. Yeah, because, because it's one it doesn't solid detach. Structure. It doesn't Interesting. detach. Yeah. Interesting. Um, oh yeah, triple and quadruple du directions as well. Yeah, all four at once yeah. is another impossible move. Yeah, and you can take advantage of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Um, and then add to that, uh, no buttons always. Add to that a button press, a sec like the second button Genesis button. Mm -hmm. you, so you can double all those other impossible moves by emulating a second a second button button that just doesn't exist on these joysticks okay. yeah so there you have a whole another set of joysticks mm. yeah. by creating a second by cre button. yeah by yeah. creating all these different combinations mm. yeah cool nathan storm you can press up and down at the same time on a starplex controller i don't know what a starplex controller looks like mm. hmm so you could um yeah emulate <laughs> um a quadtari on a Starplex controller. Certain moves, it won't do you much good. Yeah. So let's take a look at the other changes that he has made to this. Um, it displays player one and two. We've seen that. Renamed cha challenge to challenge mode. We've seen that. Um, modified the novice mode slightly. Enemy ships won't sh shoot on fly-in until stage four. So let's take a look at novice one player. Um... And on advance, they shoot right away. A slight jump there when you, when I started. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah. There was a slight screen jump. That might be something here in front of you. Look into. And of course, on novice, you get both your ships at the same time. Yes, which is lovely. Which is nice for people. And you who get are just all your off. full um, lives too. Yes, you get, uh, you get yeah, one extra, extra, one extra life, life. Because it's like a trainer, trainer well, mode or almost. Or just easier. You want to play it with your kids. And yep. They're, Make it they're fun not for into them. the super sophisticated uh, movements yet. Um, so Nathan Strum says five button controller for asteroids. Oh. Starplex is exactly like asteroids buttons. And oh, I okay. Says, yeah. So instead of a joystick, it's, it's all buttons mm. for rotating left, rotating mm. right. So that makes sense. Okay. This joystick sucks uh, mm -hmm. for this game. It's really good for some games, but this is not one of the games. Okay, continuous shooting, no. So if I if I hold it down, I think some people wanted to see that. Oh no no! Anyway. <laughs> as long as that last one, last one. It is. Or the first one. Ah! Terrible. So I was holding the button down there. I think somebody was asking about mm. rapid fire. Mm. It's very fast. Um, and I believe you can set the difficulty switch A for that. Oh, this is level four, and they're starting to shoot now. So that was a change. So they didn't shoot until. Um, I think they shot at, at level, level two, two on which novice. Is, which is it? What happens on advanced? Uh, normal. Or normal, I should say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, on advanced, they shoot on level one now. Mm. So holding down the button. It's good for beginners mm. and people with joysticks like this. Yeah. Horrible, horrible. <laughs> horrible joysticks. Better. For this game. Hard on your hands. Good for... Um, Boulder Dash? It, this would probably be a very good joystick for Boulder Dash, so we might use it for that. Sure. Do you hit ah. the button on Boulder Dash at all? Uh, rarely. You just move, right? You move under things. Um, you can... Let, the, let them drop. Yeah, but you can dig to the side, and that's uh... what it's used for. And also look around as well. Uh... So if you want to look around the level, you hold down the joystick button. 
but it's rarely used, so it would be good for that, because it's a very precise joystick. Whoa, what was that? Like, what happened? Didn't notice anything. Oh. What did you see? Nothing, no. I, I thought it, it had finished. Oh. And then more came down. Oh, okay. No, it's just fast. Yes. Oh. Oh. I do want to get caught. I don't know, for some reason my brain had tricked me into thinking it, it, all the, all the enemies were oh. on the screen. I think he just needs to get back into formation and then come down again. But he's not going to do that. Not now. He's so now I left. can't trigger him. Hmm. No! Oh, we have another cat. Oh! Another cat has hello, arrived. Hello, Pixel. Are you going to show up? Oh, no, the cat cam is invisible right now. Oh, what? Why is it turned off? Well, it's just not on this screen. It, no, I can, it's normally there. There's a is space it? for it. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's been off for a while. On some of the previous games, too. Oh, well, that's no good. Previous we need shows. the cat cam back. Okay, oh. you continue playing Me? that. Me? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get oh, the cat I cam. I have the cat cam. Where is it? There it is. Why is it off? There we go. Of course, the cat's not there anymore. They'll come back. It's pixel. So let's see what else we need to look at here. Uh, yeah. Oh, and that's why you don't oh, get me to play the, halfway through your there's game. There's the explosion sound. It sounds sounds good. I can't remember what it sounded like before, but it sounds good now. Uh, enemy ships don't fire when they're really close to you. Um, oh, run they, into do, they do shoot when they're <laughs> far away from you. Yeah. I wonder if you get points for running into them. I bet you, you do. Ooh, ooh, fast. Oh. Those are fast. Um, uh, enemy groups are closer to the center when wrapping around so they don't end up on the far left and far right. I have noticed that they are staying more <laughs> in on the sides. <laughs> Just run into them. That's one way to kill them. Does difficulty right do anything in this game? Jeez. I don't think it does. I believe it's just difficulty left that makes it for rapid fire. Yeah, I don't want to get mad. Ooh, no, right now. Let's see if I can look on my old notes for Galaga. Actually, I can look on the, on the website. <laughs> and on Atari Age. Okay, AB switch to enable auto fire. Uh, I didn't say which one, but um, it is the left. Um, the color black and white does the pause, so the right difficulty doesn't do anything, so you are safe, RC70. You're on the beginner? Yeah. Again? Yeah, since okay. I died really poorly. <laughs> I figured I might as well start back here. Yeah, I think we've gone through everything now. Mm-hmm. Um, Anything that, so so uh, the main changes were to, not, to the novice level. Yes, yeah. The main well, the main changes were the novice level. Some of the visuals on screen, mm. the co-op said uh, player one and two now, and challenge says challenge mode now. Yes. Um, and selecting the number of players with the second joystick, which is wonderful. Um, I've never seen that in a game where you can change the selections on the title screen because it's not too many two-player games out there. Um, and, uh, yeah. Keeping things in so they don't go off the screen and not firing when it's really low. That was the big changes. Um, anything that anybody else would... Uh, it's probably too late to add, but I think the game should show the A-B difficulty switches setting. Hmm. Mm. It's always I nice mean, when they do you that. You can see it, but yeah. I mean, like, So you know exactly before you start what's, yeah. what's happening. So we would say rapid fire on or off yes, on the yeah, screen? Yes, yeah, I, I always think that's it's, nice. It's, it is probably... Sometimes you don't realize he, it. Yeah, he's pretty low on room, he that's says. That's fair enough. <laughs> says on this, so I don't think he'll be able to add that. Um, uh, but it's good. It's... It's a good thing to have all the visuals on screen, all the options, so you know. Um, 
a pause button? Yes, let's demonstrate that. Don't press anything. Don't press anything. There you go. Pause. Oh, uh, you know what? I love that the stars are flashing in it. Yeah, you kept the stars flashing. That's on the pause. really that's a really nice touch. And it's a flip pause mm. so that you can pause it and, start and it. you can start it, which is great. Because you might be right in the middle of the action, which you were. Mm -hmm. I um, like that. That's really awesome. Yeah. And like I said, I love that the stars keep going. There's still some visuals there. Oh, oh yeah. I would lose kill one Medieval Mayhem can change the number of players from the menu. Space Rocks too. Yes, very, very cool. Um, what I was saying is that I have never seen a game that you can alter some of the settings on one joystick mm -hmm. and other settings on the other joystick. I think joystick. that's brilliant. I yeah. think more should be like that because then yeah. you don't have to... But jump over to the console it only the changes the options for two players, yeah. so therefore you would would have a second joystick yeah. plugged in. So it's it's kind of a um, brilliant way to do it, because if you don't have a second joystick plugged in, you don't need the second player settings, because there isn't a um, uh, an AI helper in no. co-op mode. No. It's always two humans. Yeah. Um, so I think we will start the next game if you want yeah i think so unless anybody else out there wants us to demonstrate anything else for the game um maybe i can play one one round you one, want one proper more? round no with that joystick though yeah i'm, I'm gonna just, turn I'll it just, off i'm almost dead anyway so you might turn as well. it off and plug in oh okay the normal joysticks arcade joystick but since we're not playing um, to player, it won't matter. Mm -hmm. Can we stop the game? Yeah. It's yeah. fine? Yeah. Okay. It's all good. All good. Okay. Also, 7800 is a momentary, momentary pause switch where the 2600 is a toggle. Yeah, this one's a toggle. So you go to black and white, it pauses. Mm. You go to color, it pauses. Mm. It's like each way is a pause. Okay. No, not novice. No. Nope. need to go novice. There we go. Standard. <sighs> um, actually, we'll show off the advanced for a second because we haven't played advanced. Which screen is on here? Oh, okay. Got the cat, the cat can back. Yeah. Excellent. So, see, they're firing on... The, yeah, we didn't demonstrate that. Firing on the um, first level. On a, is this advanced? Advanced, yeah. Gotcha. So they come in and fire. Ah, ah. A lot of them are tumbling, too. Uh, yeah, it's definitely advanced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> S. Ramirez 2008 says this game is totally awesome. Agreed. Oh, oh, unbelievable. Agreed. And, and the co-op mode is awesome. Oh, it's such a great addition. It's such a great, great idea for two people playing. So at least you oh, at least yeah. you start off playing with each other. If yes. You do it in, in, is it novice or is it standard? It, you start off together. Novice. You start off. I don't. It's, I don't know if it's all the time. I think it's def. Yeah, it's, it's novice. It's novice where you both start on the screen, but that's really cool. On regular, you have to. You have to kind of parachute the person yourself. in. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. Have someone captured and have the other person uh, release them. Yes. But so to... I actually, I th oh, oh my god, he twisted and turned. I know. Um, I I think it's pretty fun to play on novice for that. Oh yeah, yeah. Get to start off together. Okay, this is not not what I wanted to play anyway. It was standard standard mode, normal. Normal mode. Kind of what you'd experience in the arcade. Yes. Kind of. And we were playing this in the arcade just uh, last week. Yes, we were. A big arcade opened up in New Westminster in BC. Yeah. And they have an awesome selection of arcade games, oh, including yeah. Galaga yeah, and I, Satan's Hollow. My I, we've been concentrating on Satan's Hollow, though, mostly. Well, I love Satan's Hollow. And um, I have the local record. That's and Satan's at, Hollow at, there at the arcade. Yeah, yep. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not it's not anything special, but uh, it's it's not terrible. Uh, getting better each time that I play it. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, Satan's Hall is unbelievable. It's such a I love it. Fun game. game. Yeah. So we were watching YouTube channels on how mm. to play it and getting a lot of practice in and I can't remember my score. I have it on my phone. <laughs> no! Oh. Yes, Kev73, a new arcade, might have to check it out. Um, it's yes, called definitely. Capital City Arcade, right? Capital City yeah. Arcade. Yeah, on Columbia? Columbia no, 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 not it's, on Columbia It's off. The um, but yeah, it's a, nice, it's a nice little arcade there. And the way they have it Tons set up, it's free play, but you pay by the hour. So it's yeah. like 12, $12 an hour, I think. Right now. But right now, because it's, it's $12 for they an hour are going hour. to have beer and wine. And, no! Um, Oh my god, I'm doing terrible. And some food, but that hasn't been set up yet. It's at, You actually get an hour and a half for your $12. Yeah, they're going to have a make your own nacho bar, and um, and they are Here. getting a license. Yeah. Yep. So um, so that isn't quite set up yet, but you can still go and play and get an extra half hour for every hour you pay for. So it's, yep. it's pretty awesome. And they have, yeah. what's that game that we're playing? It's a Lumberjacks? Oh, it's Timber. Called? Timber. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool Very game. Very fun game. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I remember people were talking about it on some on the forum or in a, a Facebook group. And I was like, Timber, I don't know that game. And then I... Oh, uh, this is a I, terrible, terrible I, game. I don't I'm know playing. what it is, but I, I find I shoot myself more often <laughs> on the Atari game than I do in the arcade. Yeah. And, and I don't know. Just I've, something about the tumbling of the bees and the, the way galagas and galagons it's, it's how they shoot and how they tumble yes it's, it's a little different it's a little here. different and i just fine. always end up shooting myself which so. is fine yeah i was not, gonna do it's it's, it's yeah i was gonna do an exact season. comparison for john but i don't think he wants to make it exactly no. like the arcade there's gonna be some differences yeah no that's fair enough if galaga and tempest and gore from my nice. in your basement i would Definitely want a Tempest if I was. Yeah, Tempest would be going would to have a cool. small collection of games. Yeah. I would probably get Satan's Hollow now. Um, I would definitely get Galaga. Mm. Um, I would love to have Star Wars. But those, that's a pretty repetitive game now after a while. It's just a really cool game. Mm -hmm. um, what other games? What games would you. Want See, I love the games. bar top ar arcade games, and so even, oh, yeah. even like pa even like Miss Pac Man. Oh, well, you can get the combo um, Galaga Miss Pac Man. Yes, game. yes. So that would be, that would be that would pretty. Fit the bell. That would be pretty fun. Yeah. And, and to be honest, I've seen some pretty amazing, oh, 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 um, oh, like as far terribly. as newer newer consoles, the pinball consoles, the oh yes, the screen based pinball LCD. ones. Um, LCD ones? Fully LCD ones, yes. Um, I know that's not retro, but not I think those are really cool. And you just pick from your choice of arcade I'll play one games. more and then I'm done because that was <laughs> Sorry. terrible. Sorry, when you're talking and chatting. Rampage? That's fun Rampage. multiplayer. Yes. I find it a bit repetitive after a while because you just kill on buildings. Uh, Mr. Fix, I have Space but Invaders, fun. but it needs work. Yeah. Of course, if you don't really love the game, you find it repetitive, right? Well, it's like people could say this is repetitive. You're just shooting the things over and over as yeah, they come in. It's challenging. I, I think if it's a really challenging game, it's worth having. Yeah. If it's too it easy, because to, if you're going to have it and you're going to play it a lot, has you, to you want something that you're going to play for for a long time. So. Yeah, it has to ramp up in the right way. Yeah. Not too easy, not too hard. It has to have things like that in it, I think, mm. where things that change the, the play of the game, mm. and that's the same for Satan's Hollow, where you build up multiple shots at once. Yes. Oh, I do like Satan's Hollow. Yeah. Okay, loop. There. So that's the problem. You have to wait till it loops, and not before, because it, it's, it's too dangerous. Mm. And another tactic is they fire at you and they dive at you. So if you... Both at the same time. <laughs> yeah, so if you are planning it right, you can kind of move over as they do both of those yes. things. So I, that's... Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Oh, good 
right. Yay! He's on the right. And on the left, that was not great, but I got him. Yay! I. That's the only one I can successfully do. Anything past You did that, it! You did it! I know, it. That's but the awesome. second one... I can I can never do that. Ten thousand, very nice. It's huge, huge bonus. So you have oh, to get yeah. those. Oh yeah. If you're gonna if you're going for high scores, you have to oh, continuously yeah. get them. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they're just such huge amounts. Oh, good job. Thank you. Well, yeah. it's not that big of an accomplishment. I and think actually, it is. It should not be the, the minimum easiest. for a decent well, Galaga player is to get. Yeah. If you're playing Galaga all the time, yeah, I'm sure yeah. You, you you've got it down. But. Um. But I actually find this game more challenging than the arcade game. The Atari 2600 yeah, do version. Yeah, you think, do you think you're a bigger Just target slightly. with the double... Oh, you are. I Well, no, I mean, you are, but I mean, in this close. game... Oh, that was very close. Um, um, in this game, pixel, you seem somewhat bigger. I don't know what it is, but I maybe I'm wrong. might be, per, like... For the it's, size it's of harder the to dodge. Yeah, it's it's. Damn it! Not that it isn't. Damn it! <laughs> not that it isn't in the arcade either. Yes, it finally played the perfect music. <laughs> Yay! Glad to oblige. I don't know if he's gonna come down again. Though. First time oh. I've seen you hit forty. Oh God, that's pathetic. RC seventy. <laughs> I think it's the first time I've seen you hit forty too. I've seen you play Maybe, on yeah. your own and hit it, but I don't think you've done it on the show. So good job. Oh, Good thank job. you. <laughs> mm, that guy needs to dock again. Oh, he's not going to, is he? No. No, he's not going to. No. Sometimes they go in for a second. That guy fired pretty low. That guy there. I guess he met... I guess they were flying they really faster. low. faster. They seem faster or something. I don't know. Doesn't play as well as it should have. I feel lucky to have that working. Oh, what? Oh, oh uh... Oh, his arcade machine. Yeah. A lot of work to get Tempest to work. Oh, I bet. Oh my yeah. god. It still needs a new spinner. Oh, spinners. Those are fun. Ah! Ah! It's trapped! I do have an extra guy that can be taken. Definitely not going to get a high score. Oh, uh, not doing that. Running into guys. Well, you got you got your 40, mm. so... <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have any extra guys to get captured. Do you get one at, what is it, 70? Yeah, but I'm too far from that. You think you are? Yeah. Whoa. It's hard with that. Whoa. Ah! Pathetic. Pathetic. Mm. Nathan made this version go fast because he can play forever, yeah. N Nathan, uh, Nathan's very good at this game. Yeah. <laughs> I remember playing, uh, Neo Venom. I remember playing Pac-Man on the Atari 2600 get pretty disappointed. It's fairly young as yeah. well. I don't, I, the Atari, Pac-Man on the Atari is okay. It's, it's not the arcade. It's, mm. I, I, I treat it as like a separate maze game. Oh. Uh, Mr. Fix was saying it got so hot inside that parts had desoldered themselves and fell into the bottom of the Tempest cabin. That's not good. Oh, no. That's not good. That is not what uh, you want. Oh, yeah. Okay. Time for Wizard of War. Let me change uh, up the... S. Ramirez, 2008. I would have, oh, yeah, I would oh, have oh, to oh, get oh, Asteroids oh, yeah, first, oh, yeah. but Battlezone is my second, and Robotron would be my third, then Tempest and Gorf. Um... People didn't see that. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Was I chatting? Yep. I was going to say some stuff. You were chatting. Uh, okay, so... Um, it's going to find the Quadtari, and it's also going to use this... This uses extensively the Atari Vox, but it's going to fail. <laughs> see, it just... It just failed. Um, <laughs> failed. That was yeah. pretty funny, though. <laughs> 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 um, but I will unplug it and plug it back in so we can hear some of it. Um, there's going to be new Atari boxes uh, being put out. It's pretty quiet over there. We can't really hear it, can you? It's it's quiet, yeah. 
and press game reset. Press game reset. Hey, insert point. It's quiet. Hey, press game reset. It's loud for them. I mean, we have fans going. That's why it's not really oh, clear. Oh, I see. That's okay. That's okay. I'm out of and yes, I supposed to did all the speech. Very nice for this uh, Wizard nice. of War arcade. That's very cool. Beautiful I menu. Actually, we have not played this game in like half a year. It's unbelievable. I was on, looking at on, the archive. On the Atari, I was playing it at the at the arcade. The at other the arcade, night. yeah. yeah. <laughs> but not not on the Atari. Not on the show. And no. So it's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun multiplayer game. For the next this one should be hour. fine because it's not like rapid fire. Mm. It's firing once in a while. I love that he kept her insert coin. Yeah, why not? Because <laughs> you press the button, it's kind of insert coin. Yeah. Oh, still got my scores. Yay! <laughs> Nowhere near the high scores. We'll have to we'll have to beat that. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Get ready, warrior. Okay, I am yellow. Jeez, ran right into yeah, it. let them come to you. Remember, don't uh, or shoot them in the back. And this shouldn't interfere too much because the shooting is pretty, you know, sparse. And the Atari box just failed. <laughs> Yay, level one. How many phrases? I think there was 70. Uh, well, luckily we've got the guy who did all the phrases in the chat. He will be able to verify. I think it was around 70 phrases. So you have to watch the radar when they disappear, because then you'll know. Oh, go. good Woo. job! Double score! Woo. That means double score for both of us. Oh, cool. Which so not wonderful. just for me? Double score dungeon. I love that. <laughs> Huge letters. Just gorgeous. I kind of want a t-shirt with that. Double score dungeon yeah. on oh. Only very few people would know what the hell that I is. I know! This one make it awesome. Don't shoot me! I, well... It's straight through on intentionally. <laughs> ah! It's never intentional. No, but that, that area is very dangerous right there for two players. Uh-oh, he's coming. Uh -huh. Watch out. <laughs> no, get him. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, you don't get I hit your it when, you're, when your shot gets away from you. Ah. Oh, 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 he pushed oh, God, you. You're he almost, very lucky. He almost got me. Uh. Oh. There we go. Good. <laughs> Double score, dungeon. Yes. Couple of Insta buys playing play tonight. <laughs> yes, yes, these are both of these are being released. Very at good games. The Portland Retro Gaming Expo. So That's it's a very uh, good reason. It's a double champ games release ah. there. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Too many in one area. Ah. Yeah, it gets like a them. little hectic. And no. you have to watch the radar ah. a lot now. Oh, I don't like the big open areas. They're no, terrifying. No, it's very difficult. Ah. ah. Oh no, no, the wizard! No. Did, Did you get, get him? him? No, no, he escaped. He escaped. Oh, he ran right into me. It's a very cool screen when <gasps> when the wizard's on. We still have double score. We've been keeping up with uh, killing the killing the what is it? More luck? No. Uh, yes. More luck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, on your side. Yeah, too many on my side. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, there it is. Warlock. Damn it, I almost got him. Don't let him escape. Nope. Got him. Oh, get him. Oh, nice. Looks so awesome. Yeah. Great sounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double score. 
The yeah, manual. I want a sh- I want a T-shirt. I have to. I, yeah, have I to do. Have to get it made. I think. It's I think too so. Obscure. I might have to. I think I might have way to. Too, ah! Way too obscure. Oh, you're moving me. Ah! Oh, you're moving me. Am I? Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, it gets so fast. <laughs> oh, I went out too quick. It's too many things. There's too many things. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God. And there are half of them, <laughs> are, half of them are invisible. <laughs> half of them are invisible. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, you good. Oh, one more. Watch no. out. Where are you? Get, get over. Get over here. Come I'm on. I'm going to be down here. Come on, you bastard. Okay, here he comes. Oh, good job. Yeah. Good job. Woo. Glad that fan's on. Yes. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Double score dungeon. Holy smokes, indeed. They are going crazy. Now they're, like, starting crazy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I didn't even get a shot in. It's too much. Too much. Oh, my God. This is not the best spot. Oh. oh where am I going to go? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Both came over at good. the exact same time? That was good. Wow. That was pretty crazy. Okay. So I'll let you play. On my own? Yeah. Oh. Oh. On the scoreboard at least. Yep. Oh. Oh. Big blank there. Yeah. John. <laughs> what? Big blank out. Yeah. After you put the uh, name the in. The score in? Yep. The score. Drops out quite a bit. Is this uh, one? I think mine is. Yep, so set it to not two players. No, no. What Wait, are you doing here? Stop. Oh, there. Okay. There you go. I'll reset the Atari box so you can hear some of the sounds for a bit. Atari box. What are you doing? No. I don't understand. Just press the button to start. What button? This the part? only button. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is player one. Oh, gotcha. That's making. Oh, that's my choices. Set it, he set it up like Galaga. Excellent. Very nice. Great game. Your box crashing may have caused that blank. Possibly. That is possible, I suppose. To. Uh, so he may not encounter that. Because it seems very unlikely that John Champo would miss something as crazy as. That was a big blank. Okay, so I'm going to read off, um, this was sent to me today, this build, and I just realized that nobody, like this, there's no demo out for this. We've been, we've been very lucky to be able to have played this game. Yeah. Uh, there's, oh, it just crashed. <laughs> you turn it goes, it goes, bah, yeah, when it crashes. Yeah, there's no demo release for this game. Um... So, uh, and a very select few people mm. are able to play this. So, I feel very privileged to be able to play um, Galaga and Wizard of War. Me too. Um, <laughs> so, this was first posted September 13th, 2018. So, pretty much a year he's been um, putting this together. Um, here's the latest build. Uh, I'm not sure what version you played last. So, here's a list of big changes in the last month or so. Added the sa- sound effects from Ross for the wizard and warlock being hit and for the wizard escaping. Yeah, they sound really good. Ooh, good job. Just in time for double score. He almost was escaping. I know. Gotta be by the doors because he can go back and forth. Oh, it blanked when he was going to save the high score. Ah. Oh, yes. That makes sense. In a weird way. Yeah. Okay. That's still good for him to know. Um... Modified the wizard escape sequence to include the screen flash and the wizard escaping sound. Previously, it just played the warlock escape escape sound. No, no, don't be invisible. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Uh. <laughs> uh, warlock can now Come reverse on. direction while in flight per the arcade. Updated the font in the game to be proportional to the screen width. Uh, similar to Galagon. Oh, stop it. It's now a six-point font, now versus an eight. Oh, so it's a little bit, uh, a tinier font. I love the music. I can't really hear it very well. Let me turn up a little bit here. 
hopefully it doesn't interfere. Watch you guys here. It's a little loud out there. Did you die? Yeah. Oh, and he escaped. I died oh. and he escaped, like, immediately. Oh, John did post a demo of uh, Wizard War. Okay, great. I didn't know that. Hmm. How old is that one? I guess that one's pretty old. Um, okay. As a result, we can now display the text Warlord Dungeon as one message when you re reach level 8 and beyond. Previously, it had to switch between two words. Okay, so we will see that, hopefully. Uh, what level are you on? I cannot move fast enough. Let them come to you. There you go. Oh, good shot. Get ready. There you go. Come on. No! no. <laughs> Give yourself room. Give yourself room. I know I was uh, trying to inter intervene before he left. Save he key found and Quadtari found messages are displayed in the arcade font instead of the custom smaller font, a like Galagon. That saves about 40 bytes. Oh, joystick button 2 can be used to cycle through the player options, similar to Galagon. We discovered that on We discovered own. that, yes. <laughs> this is nice, because now you can do all the title screen options without reaching for the console. Mm -hmm. uh, and I figured you most likely be changing player 2 options with the second player joystick, so it makes sense to use joystick 2 for this. Very true. Modified the bump logic. This happens when an enemy collides with your warrior, and he is not on a cell boundary. In this case, the warrior is bumped to a cell boundary instead of being killed, per the arcade. I remember first playing this. I hadn't played it in a long time. Or I'd only played the C64 version. I don't think you got bumped. That was very close. Mm -hmm. He was shooting. Mm -hmm. I have to let them come to you. He, w he did. I did. He came to let me. Let them to come to you on a horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to them again. I'd like to go to them. <laughs> Dangerous game. It moves game. so friggin' slow when you first oh, start. Oh, that's true. It is true. It's a lot safer now. For now. Um, note that when the enemies reach max speed, when they don't fire anymore, they don't fire when they reach max speed. Really? I guess it's just, they just come and kill you, because it's just too fast. They, they probably move faster than they fire. That's why. Uh, they only bump you when they're not in the same corridor as you. <sighs> hmm, interesting. Uh, your shots can now kill multiple enemies with one shot if they overlap. <sighs> I guess if the enemies overlap. The wizard is now multicolored. Wait till they're far away from you. No, but I'm... I don't feel... I feel like I'm not moving very quickly. Like I'm hitting Compared the joystick. Compared to them, you're not. I can't move backwards. Like I'm hitting back and he's not turning right away. Hmm. But that just might be me, too. Probably. Like, I can't move fast enough. Like, he's behind me and I turn, but then he gets me before I turn, so... Oh, and on the title screen, you can see the guy. Wait. Huh? You can see the guy's little gun has color. Yeah. He doesn't in the game, because there's no room for that, but on the title screen, has, has a little colored gun. Yeah. yeah. Um, modify the wizard speed and wizard lightning bolts to be more like the arcade. Start slower, speed up on Dungeon 7 and 13. Modify the Warlock speed, so now it speeds up on Dungeon 7 and 13. Good luck to us getting there. I want to at least make it to level 8. Uh, change it so the wizard can now escape in a two-player game if just one of the warriors is killed, per the arcade. Can us now escape in a two-player game if just one of the warriors is killed? Previously, we'd only escape if both warriors were killed. Oh... I may have this option as a novice, uh, for novice. On novice skill level, the first three mazes are always the same. Not the same maze, but the same set of three mazes. Oh, okay. This is particularly useful when you select custom mazes, as the first three mazes m will be your custom mazes. For standard and advanced, the first three mazes are random per the arcade. And the advanced level, after the first Gar War appears, yellow monster, Parts of the dungeon mm -hmm. walls will blink and fade away. Wow. Making it more difficult to avoid the monsters. I intend on having sound effects added for this so it's more obvious to the player. I think that's it for now. Feel free to play this one live. Um, 
if you want so others can see the progress. And as always, all these suggestions are welcome. Okay, so we definitely need to play the advanced level for the Gar War to see the maze disappear, which sounds nightmarish. Mm. Dark, dark levels in games are, are always I, I a nightmare. Hate them. <laughs> such a nightmare. Yeah. Oh, yes, this even has the maze editor. Does this have the maze editor? Or does it have the edited, has the edited maze? We'll have to look at this. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't list it. <clears throat> Welcome a tasty sandwich. Um, I still have my C64. I may need to get a better, better supplier. Power supply, though, because I heard the original ones can fry it up. Yes. Throw away the old, or just keep it, never plug it in. The old power supplies on C64s. Do not use the old ones. They will destroy your system. Buy a new one. I think they're like 40 or $50 to buy a, a, a new, better one. I don't know if I bought one yet. I should definitely do that. Because I don't want to destroy my C64. Yeah, that's a good spot. There you go. Warlock. So you can move fine, right? It's going to escape. Yeah, one way or the other. <laughs> Pretty little butterfly. Get on the other side. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! That guy escaped. He escaped because I was escaped dead. Instantly. Yeah, because oh, I was dead. Oh, because you died. Oh. Yeah, that's what happened last time. How did you get double score dungeon? You Bonus didn't kill player. the warlock. Uh, I I did. I just killed oh. myself in the process. Oh, okay. What? Oh. You went. Through. I didn't even realize it. Accidentally went through. <laughs> Rinafoot is going to bed. Good have night. a good sleep. Good night. Yes, have a good sleep. Uh, I suppose I think you are definitely thinking of the contest version of this. I don't know if the ma the level editor had the game in it, though. No. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. Oh my god, that was close. Get him, get him. He's evading your bullets pretty I know. good. Get him! Oh, oh he, he walked came right around. through me! <laughs> he came around. Ah, oh, not very good at that, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Getting that wizard. Oh, my hand. Oh. I don't know if he's incorporated the uh, custom levels. Where do the custom levels come in? Um, does anybody know? Because it doesn't say here oh, whether he's incorporated into this or not. Okay. Level Dungeon 5. Okay. I'm going to be right back. <laughs> this oh there we go I just switched it from color to black and white oh it does have the maze editor in here let's make a terrible maze there you go that's terrible <laughs> Play them though. Hmm? The, uh, I don't think you the can mazes? actually play them. Yeah, because it's it does have the editor, the maze editor built mm. into this. Um, mm. But. You can edit three mazes. Oh, cool. But I don't know how you play them. Maybe you do. Maybe you've just changed it and it'll appear changed? I Maybe. Don't know. Oh, it's got the pause. Um, so 
let's just make a very empty maze and see if we can somehow play it. Oops. There. That's very distinct. Oh no. Oh no. No. Let's just delete this. How do you save it? Do you know the commands are to I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how you play them. I don't think there is a way to play them. Oh, there must be. Because people were just sending screenshots in to John. Really? Like, they would make the maze. Okay. And then they would just send the screenshot. And then he would... I don't think... I don't know if they're incorporated into this or not. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Actually, let's go to the advanced. See the disappearing warlock maze. What level is that? Eight? The first warlock. Uh, it says the maze, di maze disappears when you get to him. Which sounds terrible. Like on purpose? <laughs> oh! oh what the? What was that? It did, the wall what, disappeared. What is happening? The wall disappeared. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, what is happening? <laughs> it's eating In away advance? at the walls. Yeah. It is oh, advanced. that's cool. That is really, really cool. Really cool. So it becomes more and more open. Yeah. Fewer places to hide. Hmm. Mm. That is cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. So it just every every level it does that? Uh, don't know. Ah! Damn it. Oh, Dumb. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Talking. Yep. Ah, I did shoot both of them at the same time. That was one of the additions. Oh, yeah? That you could one on shot. Top of oh, each other. oh, walls are disappearing. Yep. Cool. We're going. That is cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, make it easier for him to escape. Oh. oh. Way easier for him to escape. Now, are the walls invisible, or are they disappearing? No, they're gone. They're gone. Like, it you can't... Like, like, you can walk through them. They're gone. They're not... But he was saying it's invisible. Oh. Which, and he said it's harder to navigate the maze. Really? Yeah. I didn't... I looked to me... So, there, that wall just disappeared. And he just walked through it. He walked so through did it. I. Okay. Yeah. So, it's not invisible. It's... it's They break down, basically. Yeah. The walls are breaking down, which... There are fewer places to hide. Whoa. He bumped me. That was very lucky. One thing I don't like is that you, your bullet keeps going, so you can't shoot again. That's which I know a lot of games are like that. Yeah. But it's very frustrating when you're down a long haul and you uh, shoot a bullet, and then something comes up behind you and you can't shoot it. So. That's it the is, danger. It is. It of, is what it is. Of shooting off your bullets mm -hmm. when you're not supposed to. But I, I do like that disappearing walls. That yeah, is a it's very a neat, nice it, it little adds addition. A, yeah, something neat to the gameplay. It's like, yeah. Shots become. Oh, what? I must have I think just you, hit him. I, I hit total him. guy accident, though. Or maybe. Mm. Uh, uh, oh. That's the danger of not having walls. He's shooting a lot uh, harder. Is yes. he not? Yes. He's, oh, okay. Yeah. He has he's a very a good, to, good offense. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. So yes, this does have the maze editor, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you can save them or play them. I wasn't. Oh, there's too many. Get out of here. Oh, this is a bad spot. It's too hard to turn around. Oh. Terrible. Two player. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Yep. With the disappearing walls. 
No, well, if you want to try that, sure. it's very hard. It's okay. It might be a little Advanced easier with two. Advanced is hard. Maybe. You get through the levels a little faster with two. You do. Yes. Then when things are open, they shoot each other. <laughs> That's the problem. Ugh. Right. What? First thing I hit. What? First thing I hit. How are we going to get through this? Get through what? <laughs> You're gonna die like that. I'm not gonna die like that all the time. <laughs> Hooray! It almost seems like it freezes there. Because nothing's happening, there's no music, it just stops. I hope there's an Atari Vox update. Um, at Portland Retro Gaming X, but I have, but I haven't heard an update about that in a long time. Here it comes, get ready, guard your exit, guard your exit. Good job. That is a lot easier to play. Two, two yeah, because we need the two warlock. people. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Noises. Noises. More noises. Walls are disappearing. Mm. Oh, rapid fire. Probably messes you up though. If I hold down my bullets. Potentially. Yep, I just turned around. No reason. Go. Right into me. Mm. If he Guard collides with you, if he collides with you, he should die. Bonus player. Anyway. Uh, well, kind of dies. In my, in my, in my estimation. Kind of. No, dies. because he escaped. Yeah, things are all funky with two people in this in the quad party <sighs> right now. I start moving around a little bit when I'm firing. Ah, Get him. Ah, oh, ah, you shot me. I shot you? I'm yeah, so sorry. It's, it's, I was in the way. Got him. Good music. Yes. That was an update. I know Richard had me make had me make a new Atari Vox Plus boot up sound. We'll have two phones and play it, say Atari Vox Plus. Ooh, excellent. So things are happening. Ah, that's a nice little inside tip I supposed to. Oh, I hope it's going to be there for... Oh. Which would make sense that it would be ready for Portland Retro Game Expo because this game utilizes it so much. No, 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 no. Dead? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It seemed to like clustering in that corner. Yeah, they get, they get to a speed where they're just... Oh, well, really they're not hard. shooting anymore. But they don't need to shoot. No, they don't. They just... Oh they're my so God. quick. Sorry, I can't help you with this one. Come on. Oh, bye-bye. Damn it. Got him. Nice. Nice. Great sounds. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's yeah, great sounds. I like sound. it. Collectivision Phoenix will be one of the first FPGA 2600 as well. Yes, that is coming out very soon. I should be getting mine next couple of weeks i think it's coming out they're shipping to like the earliest earliest people i ordered mine right away so i should be getting mine very shortly and it does have uh, an atari 2600 fpj fpga implementation on it it's not the first one to ever come out but it is an early one i can't remember what the other one is Uh oh, cut. He, went, he ran right through my bullet. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So I guess the longer you stay on this, the longer the the warlock is going to have for moving around. Because so many walls are gone. I totally forgot that we were still playing on this level. Oh, oh I turned around for a long time. Come on. Oh, he ran away. Come on. Up here, up here, up here. Got him. Yeah. I always miss the warlock.
All the creepy Wizard of War sounds and graphics. I haven't pre-ordered. What? What? All the. All the what? That's an incomplete sentence, I suppose, huh? What about vision. all of them? Oh. Find it, yeah, you can't even turn around fast enough to get them. Come on, just into my bullets. Ah! 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 Oh my god. They're so fast. Oh. Ah. Oh, they're so fast. I don't they're think so I've fast. ever made it to Dungeon 8. No, well, well, this is on hard, hard level, though. It is on hard. I should be putting my name in on this one. This game has all the creepy sounds of graphics. It does. It's really good. Oh. Yeah, beat close, John Shampoo. Close. Yep. So it was writing to the Atari Vox. It was making it troublesome. So let's play standard two player because okay. that's really hard. Try to get to eight. Yes, yes. Because that has um, some a big graphic on the screen that we need to see. That was part of the updates. Get him. Get him. <laughs> they seem so slow. In the on early the first stage, level. yeah. Effects said I pre ordered the, the Phoenix one week after James did. Oh. You should probably get it around the same time, I would think. Be in the same batch. Coming to you. Yep. Oh. oh, I hate that. Ran in between your bullets. You're so good at it sometimes. Oh. It's right on me. Still love that music. Mm -hmm. Killing the warlock and the wizard. The double score dungeon it is. I get all the big points. Oh, what? Got through my bullets. Come on. Wolf. Look like wolves. I don't know what they actually are, but I think they're wolves. They look like wolves, anyway. Which ones? The yellow ones? Uh, the blue ones. Oh my god, I turned around. they're wolf something? I can't remember. I don't have to list in front of me all the names. They all have very strange names. Come on. Here we go. Oh, oh got good job. Got him. Oh, yeah. Didn't help you at all this turn, but I'm still alive. So. Yep, as long as you stay alive, you're helping. That's all that matters. <laughs> level four? Uh, something like Don't. that. Oh! My advice is stay out of the arena. <laughs> it's too crazy in there. Warlock? No, not yet. Not yet. They always throw one in right at the last minute. When you think you're... Good job! That was good. good job. Jen. Where's the levels? Where's the level number? Five. There we go. Ooh, got bumped. Lucky. <sighs> got me the same time I got him. Oh, God. Oh, he bumped me, but it didn't help. And now is when it gets fast. Got your radar. Wrong way. <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Mm -hmm. 
Good job. Phew. Guard those exits. Ross finished up the wow sounds. I just couldn't get them right. <coughs> oh, good job on both of yeah. your behalves. It's such an amazing, amazing sound in this game. Can't wait. Oh my god, this quad tar is turning me around sometimes. Uh. Oh, uh, that was just bad move on my uh, dungeon six. Uh. Yeah, this is a good spot right here, isn't it? Just, uh, waiting for them to come to you. Yep. How do I turn around when I feel like I'm not even hitting my joystick? Uh, it's the quad tari sending rudenesses over. Really? Yep. I've felt it a couple times. Noticed it a couple times. Mm -hmm. Come on, over here. No, stay on your side. <gasps> Got him. Good job. Level seven, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I think it's level seven. Yep, one more. This is the bad one because I stay there and it's not a good spot. It's a terrible spot. I think spot. it's, we have to go, oh, at least I'm going up top. <sighs> it's also dangerous. Oh so my dangerous God. just getting out of there. It is. It's a trap. Mm. Big trap. Got him. Finally get to level eight. Nice. Oh, that was close. His bullet was on its bullet was on its way to me. Warlord Dungeon, that's what we were waiting for. And this is the, right the invisible one? Uh no, it's not invisible on in this. Oh. This is just Ooh, it's very open. Sorry. Ah, Sorry. Did you do that? Yes, it's really open. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, you're dead. I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> oh good job. Stay in the bottom. Stay in that bottom area. I would just <laughs> shoot back and forth right there. <sighs> oh, no. That was good. Yep. You made it to the engine eight. Whew. <laughs> Glad that fan's on. Yeah, is that one doing yeah. okay? Is it pointing yeah. in the right direction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can enter two people at oh. once? Wow. No. I didn't okay. get that score. No, that's fine. We played it together, so <laughs> okay. that makes sense to me. True. Uh, is there anything else we want to see? We'll probably re revisit this game um, on another day because mm -hmm. I'm terrible at it. <laughs> I want to get better. Look how much, how many points you get for? Oh, what? the wizard. The wizard. I got better, higher score in advance. Maybe you get more points on advance. Possibly. Yeah. You made it. Yeah. 39,300. Oh. Because I was playing scores. alone. Yeah, you were playing alone, so you get all the scores. You yourself. get all the points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. Yeah. Um, I think we saw everything. I didn't really notice the wizard is multicolored because it was panic yes. time. No, I did June. notice the wizard yeah. was multicolored. Yeah. yeah. It's just panic time at nice. that point. Um, modify the wizard speed and wizard lightning bolts to be more like the arcade. Start slower, speed mm. up on dungeons 7 and 13. Well, we saw the wizard on seven, but I shot him pretty quick. So. Mm. But he was moving fast. Um, on the novice skill, the first three mazes are always the same. Don't need to see that. Um, it's particularly useful when you select custom mazes. Mm. I don't think we can do that. I don't. I don't know how to select custom mazes. We'll have to figure that out. Like you can't do it there. You can't do it there. Try some buttons. You can skip to dungeon two and three right away. <laughs> I want to. The arena. Dungeon five. Oh, wait a second. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. That's terrible. Look at that dungeon. Mm -hmm. Deadly. Oh, the, the 
The pet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow, it gets really terrible after after what we got to. Yeah. Another pet. Interesting. Yeah. Mostly. Oh. Mostly open now. Much more open than previously. Yeah, they're just cycling through the hardest, <laughs> the hardest levels at that point. It looks oh, like. Oh, there's there's one that's that looks a little unique. Thirty nine. That's yeah. Hmm. Lots of pits. Oh wow, there's a lot of unique. Oh, what did I get to? Forty nine. Something like that. Something yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Well, now you know. But I don't know how to play custom mazes. Maybe that? Let's try. I think that just starts the game. It I've said custom before. mazes, though, didn't it? No, that's the maze you made. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can't play it. Other jerks Oh, yeah. I, I got rid of it. Yeah, it said custom mazes. So what did you hit to get to that? I hit custom mazes and then start. Oh. Without going, without going into editing them. Oh, so you go in you to go. edit them, then you press custom mazes, then start. Okay. Interesting. No yellow and red. Is this novice? Just like super, super easy. Um, it might be on novice. So, like, do you have the option for the custom mazes? Uh, okay. Yeah, it is just novice. So That's let's it. go to. Normal. There we go. Just normal. Okay, start it. How do I start? Button. This button. I'm gonna skip to the pit. <laughs> so, so, so you can try it. Oh, what? No, because you're in custom mazes, aren't you? No. Press the joystick. No, not the button. There. Press the button. Hmm. Test again. So I was able to cycle through all yeah. of them. Now it's like resetting. Maybe I do it too Try fast. Try it again. Uh, you have to wait till they come on the screen. It's just that they come faster and faster. That's why I was able to do it. Okay. That's for you, then. That's for me. <laughs> Thanks. I guess Puss said John and his son got to the pit. It's pretty good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at them all swarm around here. Get out of here. Oh, my God. And you can see why it ended at the pit. <laughs> yes. I bet they died in the pit. Yes. Oh, that's so hard. Oh. Yeah, I definitely want two players. Yeah. Kill as much as you can, well, as even, quickly as quickly as you can. Even on two players, there's bullets from the, your your opponent coming to kill you too. Yeah. Oh my god, that's hard. <laughs> that is really hard. Okay, I think. Oh, this shirt curls up, <laughs> and it's a different color underneath. Anyway, um. Let's see if we missed anything else before we go ahead. Mm -hmm. I think we covered it all. Yes. Okay. So let's torture ourselves with Boulder Dash and see if we can complete the first four levels. Four levels? Okay. Yeah. I'm excited to try it. Yeah. I can switch out that joystick if you want. Uh, oh. Great music. Is this by Thomas Yench? 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 Yench. Yench? 
and Andrew Davey from 2012. We played this um, recently, so we want to start in cave A. Just all defaults. Okay. Levels just affect how hard the caves are. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. And we just want one player. One joystick? I don't know what that means. Can't, oh, I even, guess, can't even change that, well, so it depends if it's two are plugged in or if it's, one. Yeah, you want two players yeah. with one joystick. Yeah. Or two players and, and two, two joysticks. joysticks. Can you do three players and one joystick? <laughs> Three players and two joysticks? Yeah. So you kind of got the idea of how to play this, or no? Uh, I, I've seen a few things now. You're, you're trying to find diamonds. Where, yes, where? that's a diamond. Oh, is it? And in the top left, you have to get 11 Okay. to complete the level. Boulder Dash is my second favorite game on my XL and XE consoles. Do I have Boulder Dash for the, eight, the Atari... 8 bit? I think I do for some reason. I don't know why I think I do. Let me oh. look it up. Okay. Oh, did you know why you died? Yeah. I didn't see why you, what happened, so. Yeah. Oh, is that it? No. No, you get uh, two more lives. Mm. Let me see if I have Boulder Dash. I do not. Oh, I don't. I think this needs updating. I have Choplifter, Frogger, Gateway to Apshai, Jumpman Jr., Pitfall, Quicks, Robotron 2084, and Star Wars The Arcade Game. I swear I have more than that. I'm almost certain I have more than that. And that's troubling that I didn't... Actually, I think I have more of that than that. Just hit the boxes. Hmm. Anyway. S. Ramirez, just subscribe with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, S. Ramirez, for renewing your subscription. You're now at four months. Um, only uh, two more months and you get a new icon. The Atari Age logo looked a little crooked. Yeah, it they've, did. They've it did. They've refined it a bit, a bit since then. Oh, really? <laughs> it's changed. And the music's changed, too, of, of the Atari Age logo. I bet somebody's like, Got to no, you don't want to go straight down because that boulder's... I always, yeah. yeah, that's the one thing you have to keep an eye on is the... Is the I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose to trick you. Oh, there it is. Go straight down. Yeah, and the boulder and, falls and on dead. you. Yeah. See, I think this would be a good game for this. Because it's very precise. Clicking movements. So you've got all your diamonds now. You can see it's zero left to get. Now you have to go for the, the exit. And you can hold down the button and look around for the exit. Now there are bonus diamonds. And that's what differentiates the hard mode from the easy mode. The harder mode will say, well, you have to get all of those diamonds to make it out. So you're fine there if you go down, I believe, because not like that. The, if you the, went over and the got the diamonds. The gems kill you? If they fall on you, they oh, kill see, you. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> I could have gone down and gotten them. I have this version and one for the Intellivision. My first one is, it's Montezuma's Return? Montezuma's Return? I've never heard of that one. I've heard of Montezuma's Revenge. That yeah. is an amazing game for the 2600. I wonder why people, nobody else made a game like Montezuma's Revenge for the 2600. It's really complex. Like, super, super complex. In terms of, like, um... Oh, the camera overheated. The camera? Camera hot. Oh, oh somebody no. just said it. Yeah, it's hot in here. It's hot. It's hot. 26.5 degrees. Is it? Yeah. Oh, the camera's boiling hot. I'm going to do because we're not really near finished. Maybe I can kind of position the paper so it doesn't. There we go. Oh, it's a picture of our cat. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, Let's see how far it's I can get. Sideways falling. Yeah, boulders can fall off of boulders sideways or diamonds. They can't, they have a grip on dirt. Okay. So they're fine on dirt. Let's see, if I go up here yeah. and I go to the right, that boulder's going to fall off the other boulder. Yeah. And the next boulder, too. But you it like won't the fall noise. off the dirt. Yes. Like, tss, 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 tss. Yeah. It's a nice little. Sounds like a little bit of digging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in video games, when you have a sound that's going to repeat over and over and over again, you want it to be the slightest little tiny sound yeah, for sure. Yeah, so it's not too crazy. You know, like dee 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 dee. That would drive you crazy. Um, but something like this is like really like a simple sound. That's that one you want to be careful on. That one's a guinea. That one's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's not. But you can move fast enough because there's a slight mm. delay in the rock movement. And there's it. Mm. Oh, I missed one. You I'm not playing for all. points. You're not doing it on advanced either. Right? No. Um, yeah, on advanced you have to... Now the puzzle-y comes in a little bit. Because now you have to move things out of the way to get other things, and you have to drop. You don't want to... You don't want to let that out. <laughs> That's going to kill you. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and there's some things you have to let out. Some things you don't want to let out. Some things you drop rocks on and they turn into diamonds. Oh. And then there's some things that encounter other things that turn into diamonds too. Oops. So you hold down the button mm -hmm. to look around. You can always go above the rocks if yeah. possible. But not underneath. But not underneath. Unless you, you want no to have no choice, do that. yeah. See, here's a here's a, the first yeah, kind of puzzle. Yeah, you need to. Because if I push that one in, it's going to make an impossible barrier. Because there's now there would be two boulders because you can only push mm, one. You can push one them. boulder. Yep, you can push them. See things things that are good to know. Yep. You didn't need that till this level. And it no. kind of introduces well, things true. when you need them. There we go. Some bonus. I don't know what that is. So then you have to figure out how to get out. And you have to find the exit. And you can look around, thankfully. There it is, straight down. On the bottom. Uh, now this is the hard level that we couldn't pass. This is a race, race against time. Unfortunately. And death. What just happened? Why did it fall? Was it on a... Oh, it was on a ledge. Damn it. So the boulders can fall off. Like, if I go off down there... I went around the other way the last time, which is the wrong way. Mm, oh yes, yeah, so you God. went down the boulder, yeah. Not thinking about it. boulders on it. ledges. Yeah. See, that's, that's the trap. So you can't trap yourself. Or mm. you don't want to trap yourself. <coughs> oh, the fan's not coming at me. That's better. Mm -hmm. It's just making noise. Oh. 
accidentally dug. But you can hold down the button and press in a direction, and that'll mm. dig in that direction. That is a hard level, yes. What, uh, what's the one above that say? RC-70? Yeah. Uh, just said, hi, I started searching for Monta and got Montezuma's Revenge. Thought that was the right result, but it turns out that's Traveler's Diarrhea. Which is also, <laughs> that's where that term comes from. But it's also a video game. It's also a video game. <laughs> a very, very good video yeah. game. Oh, oh, uh, oh no. Uh, oh no. Uh, <laughs> what's gonna be if I do that? Yes. And then... Uh, yeah. You have to get them first. Think about yeah, I know. I, I, it's you. Yeah. Last life. You have to do it all over again. Yeah. I was able to do this one okay. Um, but then I just ran out of time when I was playing it last time. That's it. This area. Hmm. No. Come back here. Oh my god, uh. I didn't see that! Ah! Frustrating. <laughs> it's really frustrating. <laughs> because you shouldn't be making those mistakes. Montezuma's Return is a 1990, 1998 sequel. I have never seen that. What was it put out for? Montezuma's Return. Game Boy and Windows. Uh, that's why. I have not heard of it. Reception. Two stars out of five. Ooh, that's not a good reception. Not good. There's some nice touches, such as cool animated death scenes, but overall, this game belongs in the Nostalgia Gone Wrong file. Ooh. No wonder I haven't heard of it. <laughs> not so good. Hi, Pixel. Come here. Come visit. Oh, I didn't mean to head down. Come on. Up here. Yeah. Hi. Say hi to everyone. This is Pixel. And he's named Pixel. Oh, and Atari's down here, too. He's named Pixel because he has a black pixel on his stomach. It's on his a tummy. Blank, a blank one. A blank pixel. But normally you can't see it, so... And he doesn't want to show it, that's for sure. Oh, you're leaving? Just came to say hi? Sniff around? And scratch the carpet. And wiggle the camera. Can <laughs> you wiggle the camera? A little bit. Atari! Atari! Pretend like you can't hear me. Atari, come here! No, they're hot. Uh, <laughs> they're not listening. They're like, no. Nah. Hot cats. Hot cats. There's one over there, to the left. The exit is this way, right? Yes. Yeah. It's kind of a straight shot, this one. Am I supposed to get them all? Uh, you don't have to get them all in this one, if you don't want to. You, there's plenty along the way. Yeah, you're already above two up. But it definitely ramps up from level B to level C. Or... Maze? Did they call them mazes? <laughs> Getting scared. No, you're just not even going for it. 
Not even going for it. Don't have to. We're going for levels. Just want to try especially, the second level. Especially, what third? Third? No. That oh. was the first level. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Yeah, especially if you're just going for top levels. Oh, good morning, Trey guy. Are you in Europe? It seems it's morning. It's, it's really early in Europe. Where to be? This started at 3 a.m. GMT. How do you look around? Hold down the button for until it goes gray. There until you go. it goes gray. So that's bad. Yeah. 7 a.m. here in France. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So I guess GMT is... Greenwich Mean Time? Yeah, it's one over. One east of uh, France? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where that is. What what country that it runs down. Well, what countries? Greenwich is, is England, but I... Uh, oh. I do not know it's where my granddad's from. Mm, in right. Greenwich? Uh, Around Lewisham, there. but very close Lewisham. to Greenwich. Mm. Well, anyway, good morning, Trey Guy. Yeah, we start at 3 a.m. GMT. Hmm. So now it's 5 a.m. GMT. And they're two hours ahead in France? Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that does make sense. Because <laughs> it's further ahead in the morning. Yeah, okay. So you're two hours ahead of GMT. Yeah, so push that one. Oh. No, no button needed. Yeah. You just push. Button's only for digging, not pushing. For di digging and looking around. So, who in the chat has this game? for the 2600. There was only 250 copies made. So that's back and then straight down. Oh, you need one more. Mm -hmm. What was, oh, it was the free life. That's what that is, you get a free I think. Life? Yeah, 500 points. It's not showing you points right now, but I think when you get, there you go, 500 points. That's what that crazy um, screen is. No, nope, you've got all of them. Not all of that them. you need. I know, I need to figure out where the exit is. It's right in the middle of the line. Uh, S. Ramirez has one. Picked it up from another Atari Age member. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the only way you're going to get it. I don't think it comes up too often on, um, on eBay. There is a Princess Rescue on eBay right now. Is there? Or buy it now for 300 US dollars. Wow. Should I get it? Yeah. <laughs> um, I think somebody said the last one went for 250. Um, but he does take offers. So, If you're in the market for a Princess Rescue, which is one of the rarest, most sought after combination of games, then and you have $250 to spend on a homebrew game, which it is a very good game. Um, we did beat it on the show. Mm -hmm. It was very challenging and had a, um, did take a little while to play. So it's a really good game to play. Um, I supposed to has it has a copy of this as well. I supposed to, did you buy it uh, when it first came out? Unfortunately, I was not collecting homebrew at that time. Otherwise, I probably would have bought it as well. Because it says it took a year to, s to sell all the copies. So there was plenty of time for people around that time to buy the game. RC7E says, like most states in Europe, summer, daylight savings, time is observed in France. Where the time has <laughs> shifted forward by an hour, two hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. GMT plus, GMT plus 2. And that explains the 7 o'clock. I have a boxed and a loose Princess Rescue. Wow. I was supposed to say this. The ROM and source is released. Yes. And that's how I was able to play it on the show. Because we did... Um, I guess if you're there, it can't fall off? 
uh, it can't fall off if you're there, but if something above it falls off, then yeah. you're, you're kind of you can squish, get squished. Screwed. This level is a race against the clock. A I don't know bit. where the rest of it is. It's crazy. Well, you haven't been to the right all the way, right? So. One out of the fifteen. <laughs> Oof! Was, I didn't yeah. even see that. Thirteen more to go. Thirteen. Yeah. Goodness. You could run down to the left quick. Oh yeah, it doesn't. Oh, that oh, was the wrong move. That was the wrong move. <laughs> nope. Agreed. It's not happening there. Um, and you have to go around. Eighteen seconds. Left no, it's not for thirteen happen. of them. Yeah, it's it's hard. Chase this game for a long time. It was a personal grail. Oof. Yeah, these this and Princess Rescue, I think, are the two. I didn't oh to no! Do that. It's okay. I was running around quick. The two games that are the combination of sought after, good. Well, that's why it's sought after, um, and long sold out or long off the off the market um princess rescue didn't really sell out it was uh removed from the market um what else i guess there's special editions of course but most other games are available that are like really high profile games can't think of another one. Princess Rescue plays different on one of my Ataris. I cannot make a jump. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, can't make a jump. A specific jump. And that would be a problem. Picked up my Intellivision copy for it before I had an Intellivision. I would buy more Coleco and Intellivision homebrews if they weren't double the price of Atari homebrews. Atari 2600 homebrews. It's just... It's hard to justify buying the Coleco and Intellivision games when there's already so many 2600 games that I already want to buy um, that I know I'm going to be spending my money on. There's a lot of really good Coleco and Intellivision homebrews out there, but I just... I already spent too much on, on, on 2600 homebrews that I can't, I can't extend it further. Unless it's like something I really, really, really want. Um, I bought Jump King Jr. for the Intellivision because that's one of my favorite games is Jumpman uh, uh, that I played on the C64. Oh, you're, doing, you're in a good spot now. So only have 11 to go. You have much more time than before. I'm figuring a few things out along the way. careful when you go up because oh, you don't know yeah. what's above you well up a little bit oh i see because it doesn't some things can it doesn't can show tumble very down. much right so you do have to be careful but coming from the beneath tends to be better it is because if you're going down things can collapse but on you, you just have to be careful things aren't collapsing on you don't stop too long you're almost done Ugh. you have six to go no time. No time to think. Yeah. Dig where you haven't dug before. No, I don't like this. <laughs> oh no. Sorry. What are you doing? Because those two are going to fall on me. Just go underneath them, up and around. Where are the rest of them? There's one. I'm not going to get them all. Uh, I'm not going to get them all. No. It's doing better though. Way better. The 2600 Melody hardware makes chart carts cheap. Other systems need RAM and ROM chips. Uh, yeah, because um, yeah, the Melody has been like mass produced, so that any game, within reason, um, can be put on there. Bonus. Uh, I don't think uh, Boulder. 
How, what game couldn't have been couldn't be put on there? It's recent. It's a recent game. Is it Boulder Dash? No. Some other game that couldn't be put on there. What did I do last time? You did a really good job. I know. I don't re Repentless VG says, I, 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 a whole bunch of eyes. Welcome, Repentless. I suspect Dania, Tanya isn't aware of the dig to the sides without moving feature, which might come into play soon. Oh, yeah. That would help in some I situations here. I haven't here. really played with that all that much. Yeah, so you don't have to put yourself in harm's way. True. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I haven't Less. played with that. Um, water level on Boulder Dash is really cool. There's a water, water level? Those are evil. Oh, water levels. I haven't played the water level. I guess it's a level you have to get to by winning another level. Yeah, it was a really uh, smart move to make the melody carts um, programmable. I'm surprised that nobody has uh, done that for Intellivision or Coleco, made a uh, mass-produced uh, reprogrammable cartridge that would satisfy like pretty much all of the needs. It, oh, oh no! I didn't mean to do that. They kind of did it with the Atari uh, Super Game module, where they offloaded a lot of I think the processing or RAM onto a separate cartridge, so that you wouldn't have to include that in the cartridge over and over again um, that was a probably a cost saving measure um, over time I mean you have to buy the super game module but yeah that's uh, that is surprising because there's some very consistent um, companies that release in television games and Coleco games but I guess it's a really big investment and they I'm sure they've thought of it. Um, that's okay. This kind of, this level is kind of like a memorization. Sort of, yeah. Like, this is the way I get this one. This is the way I get this one. Get it! Run right away! <laughs> See, I find that the preciseness of this controller... No, that's why... Maybe we want to try this one next. Good, because I, I have accidentally just hit the wrong... This one is way more precise. Time for dilly dallying. I think the the way I have the paper is a lot better on the camera. It's not covering up the top; it's just covering up the eyepiece. That might help with the um, heat, because it hasn't gone off again yet. Yeah. Now that I think about it, is there any scenario where digging without moving can save you? I don't. I don't think so, because you're already in harm's way because if you're doing that like she just did you could have dug that but it's exactly the same as it. moving in and moving out oh, this game's so hard it's okay. good though let's I switch could, up I the could, joystick yeah that might help a little you can see why it's like a puzzle yeah it is a puzzle game mostly puzzle because you're not really forced to, like, run fast. <laughs> Let's see how it is with this. I think it's going to be better. A little bit more precise. Why did he spin? Why did they make them spin? <laughs> That's the one part I don't like about mm. this joystick. Maybe I'll glue it on. 
There's zero need for it to spin. Cling, cling, cling. Yeah. yeah, this is a brilliantly made game. Mm. Like, uh, when I was playing it on the show the other time, I was talking about just the sheer number of calculations that have to be uh, done. Because there's things that open up other things. Yeah. And there's a cascading effect. Yes, yes, yes. It's um, very cool. So it's a really complex game. Um, the programmer was here when we did debuted it on the show, Andrew Davey, mm. and Thomas Jentsch was here as well. And he was explaining how he was able to accomplish that by not having to monitor everything on the screen. Mm. He only monitor. he kind of s puts the active things in a stack to be, to be looked at. Mm. Um, like that boulder, like right now nothing is active. But those yeah. two boulders are active. Mm. So now nothing's active. And then that was active, then it was set to not active. So he doesn't need to monitor that anymore. Rather than, you know, looking at everything Every at all the time. Every object on the screen kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, it does get more complex when it gets to the point of... There's like a bunch of things that move around the screen. Which is... Uh, fairly soon. So that's pretty quick to get to. The thing, I think so. Yeah, you get there pretty quick. Hi. Hi. You're going to come up here? Everyone can see you? Come, um, if so. Let's see if we can do this. No, you're just going to tear the carpet off. Be a good kitty. Oh, oh, sweet. He's <laughs> like, nope. No. Don't tell me what to do. He's I'm like, my own cat. I'm not Atari. <laughs> I will I'm not a different cat. Sit still and be You've nice. Forgotten who I am. That's not how this works. Yeah, you really have to just power through. Yeah, you do. You have to be pretty quick. And careful. And I messed that up. Uh, possibly. Do you need them all? Probably. Pretty close yeah. to all of them. At least Maybe the boulders. There, yep, you there we go. Yeah, I think you need all of them in this one. There might be a couple extra, but. Should I just let that one fall? Nope. Nope. Get out of the way. You can get out of the way. You like, can. There's some action-y elements to this game. There is, for sure, because it's the cascade is, strategy, but... is delayed, but, well, I'm sure there are probably levels where you have to. Yeah. You know? Ten left. Mm. Mm, doing pretty good. Yep. And part of this game is knowing what to, well, how things work. Yeah. And how to do them quickly. Even I've played it twice, I'm getting a sense of it, but I do not feel like I yeah. am completely anticipating how the boulders move yet. Like I didn't even notice that one was going to move there. Yeah. <gasps> you have to be really careful. You have to just see what's where. Yeah. Going down is worse than coming up. Oh, going down is very dangerous. If you're not watching what you're walking beside. How many left do I have four? There's two, there's another one, there's one. Oh, there's there two they there, are. they go around. You almost got them. Watch yeah, out for those boulders. Trap myself, though? Release some of those boulders, there you go. That way. Yeah. That's going to fall on you. Oh. Damn it. You can go under. You can go around and under. Oh, I wasn't going to suggest that, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, where is the exit? I have 28 seconds. There. There, to the right. Yep. yep. Can I get back there? Be careful, don't be too fast. No, I, I, knew have what, enough time. I knew what that was doing. Though. Okay. 
Yay! Oh, finally, level three is Ooh. done. Now that rights have changed hands, authors were hinting at a real release may come. Yes, that is that is true. Um, this one's very open. Oh, there's butterflies, and I have to drop things on them. Oh my god, they turn into diamonds. Oh, you have to drop them from above? You have to get above it? Mm, I have to, to drop things, something above it, on it. This is where... What the hell? I dug to the side, not went to the side. But they come out immediately, and they just, they go so fast. This is what I want to do, is drop... Drop that one on the uh, above it. Oh, yeah, it's really. I was gonna go so fast. That's the problem. But you, you, you wouldn't you dig it? Dig it so oh, it releases it down. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was dumb. <gasps> Wrong timing. But that's that's definitely what you need to do. <sighs> Come on. Mm. Mm. Where is it now? Oh my god, is it going to come for me? No. Yeah. Is it? It's coming? Oh. No. <laughs> Ugh, now I have to drop this one on it. Come on. Yes! Yeah. Oh my goodness. Get them from the top. Because they can fall on you. So that turns into nine of them. Mm, is there one up here? No. Can you cascade them? Probably not. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> need to drop a boulder on this dude. Uh, Oh. I did. And you're sorry. But I died. Oh my god. I'll deal with that. You, you keep going. <laughs> oh. Is this the last board to reach the save point? Yes, it is. It is the last board to reach the save point. So if I get that butterfly one, then I can retire tonight <laughs> and be happy and then continue on after that. Luckily, these first two levels are quick. Third one is not bad. I think I can do it pretty quick now. So, that's done. This joystick is definitely, I think, better. Ugh, what am I doing? Yeah, in the forums, they're talking about um, doing a re-release. I think they're half-joking about doing a re-release if every single... What's going on? Get out of the way. Every single person who had a copy said they were okay with having a, a re-release being done. Um... Everybody who responded said yes. There were no no's so far. But um, I think the consensus now is that if there was a re-release of the game, it would be a completely different um, box and, and label um, so that it would be definitely distinguishable from the original release that people would still have a unique item that they bought the, the first boulder dash I'm talking mm. about because they're they're talking about a re-release of oh, it cool. because rights holders have changed hands gotcha from first star software somebody else bought them out mm. I mean they would definitely still have to talk to the new owners which I can't remember the name of but, oh free line. free line. this level Definitely just, challenging. Let's do it quick. 
Do it methodical. Well, you got to be careful. Do it There's careful a and lot quick. of a lot of boulders. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm wasting lives. <laughs> I didn't die the last time I played, did I? Nope. I just finished this level with uh, full yeah, life. I think so. so that's the trap. There is one over here. I think that's the only one over here. Mm -hmm. Oops. Cascade! Haphazard. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Too fast. Too fast. Yep. And you do have to go fast, but. <laughs> you do. I mean, I, I got it done in an okay amount of time when I did it. Kind of wish you saw more of the screen. Yes, but. Do you, the other versions show you more of the screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just because there's more real estate. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. That's uh, it's not a criticism. It's uh, actually it's more a of a, makes it more of a challenge. Oh, oh yeah. So there's only so many horizontal pixels. That's the limitation, really, of yeah. the 2600. Mm. Um, vertical is lots. It's it's as good as any system out there. Yeah. Really, it's 192. Traditionally, it's made with 192 lines. Hmm. Hmm. How did I do this? You released it from oh. below. Oh, not like that, though. <laughs> <sighs> Thought I was gonna fly through this, oh, but I flew you were it. Pretty methodical when you did it the last time. And flying too fast—that's the problem. Well, that's I. Yeah, that's. Kind of the challenge of the game, I think. Yeah. Um, there is a bit of randomness to this game. To where the boulders falling me? If they have, because at some points they have an equal chance of falling left or right. Mm. Oh my god! Get out of here. So if they fall on a boulder. That has nothing on the left and nothing on the right. I believe there's a 50% chance of falling on either side. Oh, I see. Uh, as far as which way they go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's how I did it. No, you have to go through. <laughs> I have to go through and then push it out of the way. And I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Yeah, you have to go all the way through. You have to push to go to the left instead of the right. Uh, I think my last life is my last life. So. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have to do it. Have to? Well, I would really, really, <laughs> really like to do it. I understand. Because <laughs> then there's like a progression, right? Because mm -hmm. the next time I play, I can start from that level. It is a very clicky joystick the button and the joystick but I think it's I, di I didn't play with that one but uh, I find this is pretty good for this game it's very precise Repentless VG says you can do it <laughs> Cave G is the water level so e FG. so that's in the next set because the next set starts with E mm. Uh, 
I think the butterfly level that I got to is not hard. I just need to know how to either drop the boulders on them or lure them over to the boulders without panicking, because right now I'm panicking. I'm mm. like, oh my god, the butterfly's coming and it's coming to kill me! But it does have a... It has a specific pattern, the butterfly. It doesn't chase you. It goes around the edges. Yeah. In a, in a circular... Counterclockwise, I think it was moving. Yeah. So it doesn't chase you. what that is. Look it up. Something bad. Uh, oh yeah, you don't want it and you don't need it. It is bad. Fireflies. Yeah, they don't help you at all. Well, they demolish walls. They dem what? Dropping a boulder on them, which causes them to blow up. This comes in handy when you want to demolish a wall in order to get some diamonds. So those come in later, handy later. So you have to drop a boulder on it next to a wall, and you blast away through it. Oh my god. Um. Welcome, Astral Nomad. Welcome to the show. We're on our third game right now. We've mm -hmm. played Galagon, which is Galaga and Wizard of War, and we're trying to get to level 5 on Boulder Dash so that we can get to a save point, or a checkpoint. It's not really a save point, but a point where you can start from. So we did see an example of a place where you can dig but that it doesn't hurt you, but it helps you to do the digging was with that butterfly. So I didn't have to get close to it. So it gave me one spot mm. away so I could run quickly. But I don't think it helps with boulders, digging with a boulder, because it's the same as you moving in and moving out again. It's the exact same type of movement. Okay. Got all your lives. Cave C. You can do it. Now you have another life. Even better. Oh my god. Oh no. I know I made that, that mistake. Good start. Me, me, me that mistake before. And you can trap yourself. So there is a can. self there's a self destruct <laughs> is there? switch that you can press on the on the twenty six hundred so you don't have to wait the time around. That's right. fair enough. Yeah. Sixteen caves. Oh no. Not bad? No. Uh, no. Actually I think I go around this way. You should. You want to get a diamond in there first before you continue on so you don't have to loop back. Um, yeah, it's probably one of the longest 16 level games. Uh, yeah, you can go out that way. It's probably a safe way to go out. Mm, I'm going, there's more over here, isn't there? Ah! Uh, <laughs> damn! <laughs> what is the longest it ever took me to finish a game? Like in a sitting? Yeah, I think I know that for a sitting. I think it was Panky the Panda. Remember that when we played that? I think it took four hours. <laughs> four hours to play. That did take it a took lot. a long, long time. Was I with time. you doing yes. that? Yeah. yeah. That was a long... That was a torturous game, but I got so far that I was like, no, I have, I have to do it. And that game only gave you three lives. Yeah, it was only three lives. It was really hard. In one sitting, I think that's the longest. I mean, I can't think of any other games. Like 
guess Deep Stone Catacombs took a while. That was multiple tries. Bugs. Bugs? But I'm thinking like one. But I mean, we start restarted that game too. So Deep Stone Catacomb took a long time to, to win as well. Mm. That was 24 levels. Yeah, it's down there. Mm. Yeah. Screwed. Mm, yeah, I think it might be. Yeah, so far it looks that way. Not getting back there. Oh yeah, there's the path, but oh. it's, it's a rough way. You can, yeah, you can go that cross that way, down and across, just run right across, and then you'll be able to go up and around again. Running out for I'm you. I'm not gonna. It's not gonna work out well for me. Get one every ten seconds now. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> every ten seconds? No, it's worse than that. Now. Oh, it's way worse than that. <laughs> one every three seconds now. <laughs> the dirt. Too fast. Too fast. <laughs> Challenging. It's a good game. Yep. Oh, you almost killed yourself there. I know, I know. I'm too... A little too casual. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, who cares? It won't <laughs> kill me. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yeah, levels like this, you have to be careful and fast. Yeah. No, don't go right. Get that one first on the left. Because you'll be having trouble getting back to it. Once you start collapsing things. There you go. I didn't play this game very much. I think I hit a wall pretty quickly on my C64, which made me um, abandon this game when I was playing it in the 80s. Um, so I was like, oh, this game's too hard, and then I just stopped playing it. played other games. Because I had such a plethora of games to, to choose from that if something was like was too complicated at a time, I would just be like, eh. Oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> a waterfall of rocks. Did you miss any in there? I don't know, probably. Well, you should look before well, you I keep going. I don't know. I'm going to go back there. Uh, but the exit's there. Is it? Yeah, so just, no, 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 you can hold down your button. Yep. Hold on, two, four. Oh my god. What? I didn't see that one. I didn't either. That was weird. Did I actually dig out? I must have dug out the soil. Yeah. I mean, it is a very brown level. <laughs> Isn't it? It's sad. Like it is. <laughs> That's probably what adds to the difficulty of this level. Because the rocks are brown and the dirt is brown on this level. Oh. 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 No. Going too fast, going too fast. I'm gonna give it one more attempt, I think. Yeah. This sandstorm effect is using a bug of the TIA. Uh, couldn't find the dock later. Uh, yeah, if you wanna look up how to do that, I believe the, there's a game that was made. It had a spaceship, what was it called? Oh, I gotta do this all over again. It's like, I wanna just jump to cave C. It's just a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Is there one here? I don't think there 
this. I don't think so. I mean, it's, the game is set up nicely on the first two levels. It's kind of like a tutorial. It's not too difficult. No. And, and C is kind of, Cave C is an extension yes. of that. It's like, okay, here's the same thing again, but bigger and harder and, and you don't have any time this time. But it's not like, I guess it's not harder, but it's a little bit harder. Careful. Oh yeah, I'm done. Okay. I am done. Don't need any more. Cosmic Arc, that's the name of it. It was a sp spaceship, spaceship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there is, uh, I'm sure, lots of documentation on Cosmic Arc's Starfield now. So if you want to look up how to do the effect that they're getting in here when you get an extra life. Uh, let's keep doing that. <laughs> Why not? It worked. Don't let that out. Fight you. Uh. <laughs> what? Nothing? Mm -mm. Hmm. Just the right, I guess. I think that's one of the uh, often told stories when you go to the retro gaming expos is about the Cosmic Arc Starfield. Okay. I think you've heard? I mean, you went to all the same yeah. speeches. And it's like at, the, at their conventions in the 80s when they were uh, showing off their newest games, they would uh, go around and look at the other guy's games. Oh, yeah, yeah. And try and figure out how they did what they did on their game. And mm -hmm. Cosmic Arc was one of those things, like, how did they do that how star did they field? Do that? Yeah. And they wouldn't tell. They wouldn't say how. Really? Yeah. To this day? Oh, no. They, I mean, they, people figured it out. because well, they I could, know people do figure it out. But back then, it, no, it was No, you didn't to, want to tell people if, if it was something unique. Yep. Calm down. Too fast. Too fast. Yep. Too fast. I don't want to have I'm on this level. Don't want to waste the lives. How do I do it? How do I go around this way, actually? Yeah. This is the way I go around to get this one. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going the same way I came in. I go down and around to get that. And I go up and to the left here. That was very dangerous what I just did. Mm -hmm. And I think I go up a bit here. Get that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, careful. And this is the problem one. Why? This is when I go through. Because before we were digging and it just like, nope, that's the game over. And it dropped. You have to go through it and no, then push you could, the boulder out. You could out. dig under it and it would drop down too. And then you'd still be stuck. No, you wouldn't. You can go up and, up and over. Oh, could you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But just don't go there and then yeah. go back. Yeah, cause you, you tried to push it, and then you ran back, and it fell on your side, and then you were screwed. Yeah. That's what happened. Okay, this is the dangerous part. This is the falling. Down there? Oh, there. I think I want to clear some things out. Oh, get, that, get that thing down, down there, that, though. That. Down and below. There? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there some up, something to up to the left? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oof. I knew it was dangerous, but I had to do it. 
Okay, anything there? And I'm gonna go up and around this part or not. Yes. There's there's like, there's, a, there's like four down there. Five. Oh, no, I think... Oh, careful. Jeez. You did on purpose. Uh, you're going to bury them in. <gasps> what are you doing? Go back up and around. Go down. You're burying yourself in. Go back to the... Back in, to the oh, yeah. no. Go back. Go back. Oh, no. You're being silly. I think I've killed that one there. No. Oh, I think I can get it. Oh no. No, I've done it. Yeah, you buried yourself in. I don't know why you went over to that side. <laughs> I can't get the rest. No. Does it know that or I ran out of time? You ran out of time. Mm. Careful. Mm, mm, close. Mm, mm. <laughs> kind of close. I was a little slow though because I was running out of time too. Well, yeah, but you were going up. If you had gone down the other side and just gotten them, you probably would have made it. Very close. Yeah. I need some lives for the next level. Well, you've got a bonus. Yeah. That's true. I don't, know. I don't know. Get it and run away. I should have. That's what Silliness. you should always do. Silliness. Actually, mm -hmm. I don't know why. doing it any other way. Camera just turned off. Did it? It's hot. How do I cool it off? I uh, you don't you just turn it back off and on again, and press the yeah, it's boiling hot, eh? Boiling hot. And there's gonna be a cat on the screen. And then you press the play button, get rid of the cat. The play button. The play button. Oh, you didn't turn it on again? Can you turn the camera on? Yeah. Oh, there you go. And the play button. So what's the point? Oh, that's just that. And then you have to zoom it back out a bit. Oh, no, no. There we go. Oh, no. How did I get that? Get what? How do I get that? Uh, go, go around. around. You have to be super careful. You drop the boulders to this side. Yeah. There you go. And those ones too. How? You have to just go down and around. Drop them. I guess so. Oh, I can still get out. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. Okay. You almost done? One more. Oh, good. Right. Okay. Ooh, all right. Deanoid, you guys, good. you guys did approve a lot on this game. Yeah, I've been playing it for a bit here now. Oh, just woke up too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? How do I? I'm panicky with these guys. Don't be panicky. Just. <laughs> I need to like make a path, and then drop. A boulder on him. But you just eat it out from underneath. That's what you were doing last time. You just have to time it. I'm sure that's going on. Just eat the boulder. Up there? Eat the dirt under the... Uh, yeah. It's very hard to time that because he's 
He's so fast moving. You find me. We're protected for a second there, but that's okay. If I can get him, it's going to come. No. Oh, the screen's so small. Oh. oh, he's trapped. I don't want him trapped. That's the problem. I don't have time for this. I have to kill all of these guys with boulders. Like that. There. But I have to yeah. do it to... Oh, oh my goodness! You, keep, <laughs> you have to I get have to, them from the top. I have to do rows. Yeah. Rows of them. But I have to do that every time. I have to, yeah, like, you have lead to lead him, him lead him to a boulder. I'm going to lead him to that boulder up there. Yeah, there right? you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, I missed it. I went to the side. Instead of up, yeah. Okay, I think I've got a plan now. Mm -hmm. I just woke up and joined the stream at 742 in the Netherlands yeah, nice. now. Where did he go? Oh, piece of crap. Come back here. Why did you go the wrong way? Come. Okay, I have to use a different boulder. Hope it. Where is he? Oh, he's so fast. So scary. So scary. <laughs> a scary butterfly. I'm gonna practice it on the next one. I think so. Okay. Okay. Top down. Top down. Stop treating them like they're not boulders. <laughs> they are boulders. Okay. Is there one that's nice here? Oh, there we go. And he went the other way. Gonna come back. It's probably gonna get trapped somewhere. Butterfly. It's probably way off somewhere. Back. Okay, I'm just gonna have to let this one go. I don't have time. Because they go. Um, I think I have to come around this side of them. I wonder if I have enough time to just do that. Mm. Let's go up. Uh... <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. How many are there? How many butterflies are there? There's the exit. It's just those three. Here we go. That's another one. <laughs> oh no. Jeez, stop doing that. <laughs> 18. 18. Oh, you have to kill them all. Oh, but that's not even enough. Because that's the last... Oh, what happened? You ran out of time. I think I killed two of them there. You ran out of time, though. 9-9. Nine, nine. Yeah, there was two more left. <sighs> uh. Should I do one more? I'm done. I'm done. done? <laughs> yeah, I want to practice. I practice on my own a little bit. On your own? Yeah. Wasteful if it's not on the stream. <laughs> it's a fun game. I really enjoy uh, I it, but you need primed. a little bit of repetition. I think we're primed next time. Yes. Yeah. To win it. Yeah. Or at least to get to level E. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, while the oh, you didn't zoom out. What you asked me? I did. I asked you to zoom out. I did. Or zoom in. Or zoom in. I zoomed out. What no, you said was not. zoom out a bit, uh, so I zoomed out. And then you said that's okay. Oh, did I? Yes. I was playing. I was playing. <laughs> okay, you so... You tell me what to do, I do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so thank you for tuning mm -hmm. in, everyone, to this impromptu and all the people waking up to the stream. <laughs> yeah, 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 no kidding. Jumping on the stream. Yeah. Um... Let's see who's in the chat. Where's my chat? What happened to it? There it is. Um, Dianoid, Ice Bosta, 
Astral Nomad, Cataron and Twitch, Catarn, Catarn and Twitch, uh, Trey Guy, Repentless VG, RC70, Esther 2008, uh, I suppose I think I said, Trey Guy, I think I said, uh, Mr. Fix, he might have gone to bed, yep. uh, Marina Foot. Foot back then, Tasty Sandwich, Neo Venom, uh, Ground Trooper. Did you see Kev at some yeah, point? Yeah, Kev 73. Kev 73, there yeah. we go. Imagine if Zaxxon cabinet would be worth a bunch. I've never seen Zaxxon in the arcade. Mm. I bet it would be. Um, I think we've said most of the names now. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm. This is just a bonus episode because there are some updates to galagon and, and wizard we had, of war we had the time so <laughs> at the time it was a holiday nice, it's a holiday today and yeah beautiful bc so yep. and uh so next show it's in two days mm -hmm. it's on wednesday uh with erlen uh, we're going to be playing mid space laser keyboard uh and peril so we haven't played peril in a while and there's been a lot of updates mm. to it not recently but way back um, yeah, I think I already got your message on Atari Age. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, Repentless VG. Mm -hmm. You are very welcome. And don't know what we'll be playing on the Friday, and that's before the short break, because I'll be going to Texas, and we'll be off for about a week and a half. Mm -hmm. Very short. Um, but I think we might be playing, what did I say, Lunar Lander by Champ Games. More nice. Champ Games it's taking over. Um, so that should be a lot of fun. Um, other than that, I think we've covered everything. Yeah, we'll be back after that break on August 23rd. So we'll be off from the 10th to the 23rd, so just under two weeks. Um, and I supposed to sent me an Atari Age PM as well. Okay, thank you, I supposed to. Oh, I think I did see that. Um, uh, PM, that's a couple days old. I'll have to get back to you on that. Been a little busy with life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Getting ready for Texas. Um, so, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. We're going to leave you now. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> and, uh, it was we fun. Will, yeah, it was lots of fun. Yeah. And we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye, yeah. everyone. <laughs>